sorry about that, everybody. Uh, early yellow card on uh, my behalf. We uh, uh, found myself on mute because of the. I had some sirens going on in the background, and I thought that maybe you guys would hear that in the beginning. Sorry about that, everybody. And um, redo that intro for you guys. Brenda Johnson back on the left side here, everybody. So uh, apologies about that. Found myself on mute uh, there. And Dave will be coming with us uh, in just a second. He'll be joining us, like I said, uh, while I was on mute, that he's going to be cooking up some Verner on the dance floor dance moves for you guys. He's just will be with us in just a second. Do apologize about that, everybody. I can already see that a thousand people are reminding me uh, of being on mute in that second. Uh, blue card, exactly right. Uh, potato stew, blue card indeed. And uh, at least when Dave returns, then, you know, I can go for my 10 minute time out, probably grab another coffee as I as I wake up this morning. But everybody, massive, massive, massive game here for us. It feels like this is kind of the 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 be all end all for this top four. A must not lose for Tottenham Hotspur. That's the way I heard it kind of from Sim from We Are Tom TV. Hadn't actually heard that phrase before and I think I'm going to start using it more often, especially as we kind of get towards this tail end of the season where every game matters. And I've said this a thousand times and I feel like I do need to probably say it a thousand times. I believe in Ange Postacoglu. I believe in this journey. I feel like we are very early in the stages of still figuring out, you know, his system he's still even figuring out the Premier League a lot of things are still going to kind of cook and a lot of things are still going to develop but I think we can still believe in the journey believe that we're still early in this process and also see that I do believe there's a chance here right to go for a really early sort of kind of overachievement a really early kind of a kind of yeah just prize for Spurs I know it's not in any sort of trophy fashion you know that we probably would have liked you know like the I think domestic cup run that we probably would have wanted but here's our chance to still kind of end the season on a high end the season you know feeling like this still was a huge, you know, overachievement, I think, for Spurs, because nobody, I think, really had uh, us finishing inside the top four this season. And this is a massive game for us to see uh, what we're made of and see if we're still, right, one of the best teams in this Premier League. And I think we've shown huge flashes of it throughout this uh, throughout this campaign, we kind of, you know, faltered a little bit, shown signs of inconsistency, but as have Aston Villa, though, right? As have Aston Villa. I feel like of recent, um, they've been kind of more consistent, or at least more looking, you know, they look more confident than us in the last few games, but then when we've shown signs of consistency, when we've shown, you know, really good pa uh, patches of form, I've seen them lose games like to Sheffield United, right? They had that, I think, kind of hilarious game where they were at the top of the league, or they were about to, I believe, take, you know, um, an opportunity to go you know well and clear you know top of the league they had Sheffield United at home one of the easiest games you would think of you know for a team to have that opportunity and Sheffield United ended up beating them or uh, forcing them to drop points in some sort of regard so I feel like uh, this is a an interesting game between two teams that have shown signs of inconsistency but have also shown signs of being top four quality so I see uh, we'll see what we're made of and um, in terms of the midfield you know we have a uh, Basuma Madison and Saar that's the midfield that I believe Dave and I went for and when it comes to the back four I'm not really sure that there's much of a surprise there right uh, I mean I really love Emerson Royale the only reason I would have played him though in this game would have been because Pedro Porro isn't totally 100% fit because he will be asked to do a lot defensively I know we really rely on him kind of in the creative fashion you know going forward but this sort of game is going to really ask you to do both sides of the ball it's going to ask you to defend as well as also get forward and attack and I know Emerson can struggle kind of in those forward areas but I think I'd rather be a bit more defensively cautious in a game like this if Pedro Porro wasn't 100%. Looks like he is, though. So the postman returning back. And uh, Dave, I was saying uh, while I was, you know, had a nice intro to begin with, but then I uh, had to redo it while I was, uh, you know, on mute. I was saying you were cooking up some Werner on the dance floors in the background, you know, getting yourself psyched for when he makes his impact sub because instead... You know, it's Brenna Johnson, so no Richie for us, no pigeon dancing, no Verner on the dance flooring. It's going to be, uh, you know, maybe dart throwing and, uh, you know, sunny pictures, I guess, for our goal celebrations today. Yeah, look, I, I don't care just as long as we're celebrating, to be brutally honest with you, Jack, but I do believe I might get my Verner on the dance floor later on in the game. Look, interesting uh, selection there from Ange Postacoglu. I know he does I know he does like to operate off the meritocracy and sort of, you know, reward players and stuff like that, but I honestly didn't see it coming. I thought Johnson would have been on the bench today, used again as an impact, so it'd be interesting to see whether fans get what they want. Kulu on the left, Johnson on the right, so these guys will go to the byline and 
looked to cross the ball, pull it back a bit like what they were doing for Ange Postacoglu at Celtic, or whether he continues with Kulu on the right and Johnson on the left. It'd be very interesting to see what happens there. But for me, it's clear Johnson is a much better player on the right-hand side than he is off the left. So it'd be interesting to see what way we line up there. But I'm glad he's kept Kulu in because this is going to be a physical game. We are going to have to earn the right to play. You know, we need someone to be able to hold up the ball. With Son and Johnson, their strength isn't holding up the ball, bringing others into play and stuff like that. And you do need to have that option. And I think I'm delighted that he's kept Kulu there for that reason today. And hopefully he can put in a big game. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of players to put in a big game. And in a sense, it's sort of um, a similar dynamic, though. I know Werner offers that pace down the left-hand side, but mm-hmm. two cents, right? We know Brandon Johnson does as well. And I think um, it, it felt like we didn't need to have three sort of kind of pacey players across the front line. We needed somebody like a Kulusevsky to drop deep, to pick up the ball, to kind of return, you know, kind of a, you know, drop back, help out the midfielders in those half spaces. And you can have the other two kind of make those, you know, Mm -hmm. daring runs in behind to, uh, you know, stretch that Villa defense, but also uh, maybe, uh, yeah, test that uh, offside trap, which is going to be an interesting one today. I'm not sure if you guys had that discussion in sort of the pre-match buildup, you know, whether they are going to go for the the very daring, you know, full on, you know, very high line offside trap mm. uh, of theirs when you do have Sonny, who I think is rarely caught offsides, right? He's actually yeah. probably one of the best in the business at yeah. making usually the right run. I think that's where it begins first with Sonny. He often makes the right run, but then two after that, he he ends up, you know, usually always being on side for the most part, at least keeping it close. Whereas I can't really always say that with, you know, uh, Johnson, Verner, <laughs> sometimes for Charleston as well, and uh, the rest of them. But uh, we'll see uh, what Villa are made of in that regard. What well, what I would add to that, Jacko, is you know. Son, I agree with you. He's never caught offside. Probably the best timings of the runs I've seen in quite some time in the player. Johnson, you know, in behind. But the biggest key is we have to feed them. What we can't do is take the easy option like we've been doing the last few games and stuff like that. When we've took risk, we've gone and score goals. And it's, you know, Werner, how many times have we said this season he's made the run, but the ball hasn't come? You know, that ball has to be delivered today from their midfielders, from the full backs, whoever's on it. They make the run, play it. Yeah, absolutely. Um well, everybody, hopefully you're strapped in. One of the biggest games of the season for us. Um, anybody on the, the bench that's kind of a, a surprise just quickly, Dave, before we kind of get to the chat and see what they have to say? Looks like it's um, Brandon Austin, Emerson Royale, Dragashin, Ben Davies, Hoyberg, Benton Court, La Celso, Verner, and Scarlett. So Brian Hill, actually, you know, uh, is out of the lineup entirely, if you, mm-hmm. if you were to make that out. Um, and also no uh, kind of younger representation really at all kind of been the, in on the bench either in this game. No, look, it's it's, it's a decent, decent enough bench today. I'm surprised that uh, Lascelles has made the bench. I mean, I nearly fell out my chair when I see his name, <laughs> you know, being fit and available for selection. I couldn't believe my eyes. Um, look, Bentoncourt, obviously, you're going to look at coming off the bench, yeah. probably Werner at some point as well. Um, Emerson, depending on how fit Porro is as well. Uh, but look, this is this is a huge game. You know, hopefully Postacoglu has got his lineups uh, right. You know, and he's got his uh, you know subs. Uh, you know, he gets his subs right today. You know, everything has to go perfect for us. It's a huge game. There's a lot on the line here today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, everybody, you want to grab a coffee, Ratten Jack? I think no, I already got one. Grab it. No. No, I was um, because I was more joking on me being oh, muted right, 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 uh, right, in the right, beginning, right, right. and because uh, I, I know like, it's already for you. So no, no, like... I got I got the coffee. Okay. It's hot. Got a, you know it's half full at the moment. Got a nice water, you know, next to me, indeed. Nice. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling good about it. Sorry about that, everybody. Blue card, you know, absolutely for Jack in the beginning there. It's funny just to see the chat, you know, blow up, you know, after you know the the 20 <laughs> second delay sort of and everything as well. Big so up, what everybody. When you have to move your game earlier to suit Liverpool. Well, it's what happens when the Aston Villa crying sirens, you know, go by, you know, in the, in the, in the morning, you know, I had to mute them. Uh, big up, everybody, though. Hopefully you're keeping well. Like I say, really do appreciate you all for picking us as your watch along destination. Mm-hmm. Already so many of you in the house, well over, I believe, getting close to 300 at this stage. So really do appreciate you. Smash that like button if you can for us. Do get your comments in. But let's strap ourselves in, everybody. Good to see you all. Going to rush through this uh, chat here because, you know, we had a nice little intro to that. Had my little kind of uh, intro myself, you know, personal little rant, you know, about the game. But really do appreciate you all. Tekken, uh, first of all, I just say great first comment. One of the best first comments I've ever seen to open it up. He says, come on, you Spurs. Real tough game today. Last week, the Eagles got varned. And today we leave the villains cashless. Our revenge will be best served 
kulud or cold, he says. Yeah. Ca- cashew soup, uh, or best served cold cashew soup by our ginger ninja Fran uh, Sveriga. Wow, he knows also the, the Swedish version of a, a Sweden. Big up, guys. Tekken. Big award for you, sir. Paul Connor's in the house. Good to see you, Paul Connor. Hopefully you're keeping well. Iceman's in the building as well. Big up to the Iceman. Simboy Tubbs, David Granola, great name. MJ, Joker Davis, Potato Stew, Cantab's in the building. Come on, you Spurs. Big up to um as well. Stevie Webb, Ribsy85. Good to see you, Ribsy. Hopefully you're keeping well. Chris Agambar, member of the legendary Agambar family. Big up to you, Agambar. We have uh, as well Donovan Osterreicher. Big up, Donovision. Hopefully you went on a, maybe a... I don't know, some sort of a sunny run this morning, maybe a nice uh, Brenda Johnson run of some sort of uh, Dragasin workout, you know, a, a big up Donovision. Good to see you, sir. We also have, um, I believe, Harry T. Good to see Shem Tan, Colin Turner. Good to see so many of your faces in the house, but I do have to catch up here. Big up to the Mark, member of the Mark Army, Dark Sun G. Big up, Dark Sun G. Come on, you Spurs. Let's beat Villa for revenge. And happy to see our best back four starting. Ange is the GOAT from taking a destroyed slash damaged Spurs to top four fighters in his first season. You kind of look at sort of also Aston Villa and Spurs, Dark Sun G. Two teams that are in the midst of these kind of renaissance or right kind of undergoing projects and redevelopments of what was at one stage kind of pretty terrible football or even also just fractured fan base right i think steven gerrard didn't exactly do too well for them i think before that what was it like um uh you know dean smith i always forget the guy's name but yeah 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 yeah, the former you know uh manager for them he didn't do too great and uh now they're under this whole new renaissance and they're actually slightly ahead of us right i think he's had probably like eight or so months you know kind of in you know time in advance of a uh, pasta coglu uh, unai emery but you can kind of see that both fan bases for the most part i think are well behind their manager yes you know kind of still early beginnings but two teams that i kind of made it out to be dave that you know are in a way kind of unconvincing at times but all, also <coughs> in flashes have shown you know that they are true top four candidates so it's a real interesting game in that regard no, look, I, I think I think both teams today are worthy top four candidates. Let's not forget Villa are further along in their um, rebuild under Una Emery than what we are under Ange Postacoglu as well. I think that gets forgotten at times. But look, Ange has done a magnificent job. Not only has he changed, you know, the outlook of a lot of the supporters, you know, he's brought a bit of unity between the players and the fan base, which there wasn't there <coughs> in previous years gone by. Um, you know, he's managed to get, you know, the right signings out of the manager. And, you know, a lot of them, um, nearly every single one of them have come in and hit the ground running and they made a huge difference. Whereas, <coughs> <coughs> what's going on? In seasons gone by, that maybe wasn't the case. You know, some players would be dripped in, they'd do all right, some weren't and stuff like that. And I think, you know, you, like like Dark Sun G says, we're sitting here today going in for what is the pivotal game for top yeah. four. You asked me at the back end of last season or coming out of last season or even over the summer. Would this be the case so far this season? I would have said no. I would have bit your hand off for this. Yeah. So um, Ange Postacoglu has done a brilliant job at Tottenham Hotspur. Don't get me wrong, it's not the finished article. There's a lot more improvements to make. Start keeping some clean sheets it would be absolutely crucial. Be a bit more potent going forward. Um, but we're not too far off. And it's good to see the club heading in the right direction for once. Lastly, too, Dark Sanji, at this stage of the season, I felt like lots of times we've kind of have been in that giving up stage where there's not really anything to play for. We're not even that happy with sort of where we are and how we're playing mm. that these games we really started to dread in kind of just every fashion. Whereas this one, I'm kind of more nervous out of just the fact that there is something technically to play for. Whereas in the past, I didn't really feel like that kind of in these sort of games. And it felt mm. like you were kind of just showing up for potentially a drubbing really like right and yeah. um it, it feels a lot better now and credit to pasta coglu dark sun g for that uh he also says as well i hope to see sar and johnson and son and matter score today come on you spurs well dark sun g i actually instead of the richie jersey have the the sunny scuba diving uh, jersey today so i will be going swimming uh, at some stage you know in all the villa tiers if we do end up pulling a huge winner today and uh sunny if they play that high line i mean i could see him scoring no doubt i put the house on it uh, yeah. dark sun g um but if they don't play that high line i'd still put sunny probably as the most likely scoring candidate because it's not like they're going to put mm-hmm. every man behind the ball or anything like that for the majority of the game there will still be that bit of space in behind and sunny makes more clever runs than pretty much anybody else in this team so he likely will end up i think with that goal big up dark sun g or dave any other goal scorers that you had 
Sorry, say that, Jackal. Say he that just again. says he wants to see Sar or Johnson, oh. and then uh, Sun and Maddie uh, matters uh, score today. Look, I'll be brutally honest. I don't care as long as we score goals, Jack. Score goals, you've got a good <laughs> chance of winning a game of football. Look, yeah. when it comes to Madison, he's better away from home than he is at home. So I think you know he might he might might show up today. I think he'll have a huge impact. Sonny scored five goals on his last three visits to Phillip Park, so you'd presume he'll get on the score sheet today. So I don't think that son's he's there. Uh, too far wrong. I yeah. don't know why I have a, a sneaky feeling a Papa Matasar or a Van de Ven or a Ron Bon one of them might pop up today as well. So let's wait and see what happens. Let's wait and see indeed. Um, big up as well to Martin Knightsbridge is in the house. Good to see you, sir. Yeah. DJ Samuel, absolute legend, DJ. Jack got the moves like Jagger. Not today, it feels like, uh, DJ. I think that's going to be more Dave's end. Uh, big up to as well. Uh, um, uh, too darn soulful. And then uh, we have as well uh, Stevie Webb. If I didn't say hello, good to see you, Stevie Webb. Also appreciate you as a member, my man. Lee Harvey celebrating one month as a Flat Cap member. Afternoon, guys. Bit nervous. Get the job done. Come on, you Spurs. Um, must not lose, right, Lee Harvey? I heard that from Sim. I'm going to start using that more often. I think this is one of those games where you just can't lose, just have to get the job done today in that sort of fashion. Yes, a win would be terrific, but I, I, I'm just sort of in that moment right now. Waking up, I just feel like you know Spurs have to just get a point at least in this game, and I hope to see also a very complete performance because – Likely, if we are to get a point, I'd imagine we probably would have a pretty good performance if we are going to get a point out of this or more. So big up to you, Lee Harvey. Really do appreciate your support. And then we also have um, Rakdos um, uh, Madness. Love the name. Welcome to the Flat Cap Army. Really do appreciate your your support. And uh, Rakdos, believe me, you can get the, the pre-match thoughts, you know, exclusive to you. This is one of the biggest pre-match thoughts we've ever done. I thought it was a banger as well. So if you guys got to, to watch that, really do appreciate you guys supporting the channel. But that's exclusive to all the members. So Rakdos, feel free to enjoy that. And then, you know, future stuff on the way as well. Mark, celebrating 10 months as a fan show member, says, I was gifted this membership on the 7th and I didn't realize. Hopefully you are here so i can say thank you um for whoever that was dj samuel or rob wallace i presume it would would have been or Coover put in some recently as well so it could be any of them but mark p fair play my man uh you know and uh you know whoever if, if anyone remembers it being uh mark p that's uh one of the recipients of your generosity let them know but mark p welcome brother welcome Big up to big up to Mark and also Dark Sun G says surprise no skip on the bench but our bench is great without him. Also Kulu played one of his best games at Villa Way. Let's get revenge today and next week. Yeah, I think that revenge factor is certainly on here, Dark Sun G, because I felt like we played well in that last in that previous fixture. It's just the XG, right? You look back on it, it was one of those that I kind of quickly forgot about because I remember it was torturous, right? We were just missing chance after chance after chance, mm. and I was pulling my hair out because it's hard to watch a team play well but sort of spurn chances, like, and then end up losing. It's kind of one of the worst ways, I think, really to lose yeah. in, in a sense because you just feel like the forward line, you know, are paid all the big bucks to do their job, and they just didn't, I remember, mm. on, on that day. And also other players, too, I remember were guilty of just missing chances in general and then we conceded as we usually do from uh set pieces i think there's that pau torres set piece that was uh pretty frustrating so let's try to get our revenge today and uh, no skip on the bench uh no hill on the bench no sassanion of course dark sun g and, and others but just sort of shows you right there are a lot of guys that likely could be out the door this summer that you know at one yeah. stage were those you know background kind of you know uh tertiary players really I agree with you, Jack. I think whoever's not on the bench today that we do, that Ange Postacoglu hasn't said is injured, I think are the ones that will be shipped out, you know, come the summer. Skip, yeah, Gail, people like that. I think you're absolutely spot on. Just on what you were saying, just quickly, because I know we're only a couple of minutes away from uh, kickoff, um, about about the reverse fixture. Look, that reverse fixture, we had no Sar, we had no Madison, we had no Romero, no Van de Ven, no Richarlison. You know, we were absolutely depleted in that last, in that reverse fixture. And, you know, we played good football. We created a lot of chances. We just didn't take them and put Aston Villa to bed. And we left ourselves exposed. And Aston Villa went for it near the end of the game and ended up going on and winning it. But it'll be interesting to see, you know, if, if, if we can be as good, if not even better than what we were in the reverse fixture with all these big dogs back, you'd like to think Madison would have a huge impact on today's game, along with Sarah Romero, Van de Ven. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really worried about how the reverse fixture went whatsoever. I, I'm, I'm confident enough heading into today. 
Um, I think we're going to get a big performance. Glad someone's confident. I'm still a little bit nervous. <laughs> I wish I was with you and uh, Paul and, uh, and Dermatron, so I could have gotten some of that that uh, confident mm-hmm. energy. Big up, everybody. Really, uh, feed me the confidence. If anybody's already happy clapping, I'm glad you are. But like I said, my happy clapping powers haven't fully kicked in yet at, at this stage. And then also, um, Dark Sun G says, come on, you Spurs. We can't lose to Villa, who starts Longley at center back. It's, um, it's Longley, you know, we have to think of. Matty Cash. Longley and Pau Torre. Pau Torres, it's it's two left footed center backs, two dark sun G. Not often you get to see that. Um I might catch the fan right wing. Yeah, I, they do do that though for that more conservative approach because he can whip in good crosses, tracks back, fast player as well. Doesn't have a bad shot on him. I'd say Matty mm-hmm. Cash too. That's probably why we are also kind of annoyed by him just because he's not a bad player. Um I'd say Longley though, we definitely should take advantage of him because he doesn't have that pace, Dark Sun G. But I'd say like you know, for two left-footed center backs, they're both very good on the ball. And um, I'm curious to see how they will handle our press. I bet they will make mistakes here and there. But they, we know, like, that's what Dave and I rated about Longley is that we thought he was much better than guys like Dyer, Sanchez, etc. on the ball and, you know, didn't give it away nearly as often in sort of bad areas. So we'll see how they handle the press. And he's also going to be a threat from set pieces. He was an area threat from us, uh, for us from attacking set pieces at times. Yeah. You know when we had him and stuff like that. But look, with Pau Torres, Legley, they're not there. They're not the quickest of players. You know, that you get Johnson, get Sun in behind if you can. It'd be interesting to see how how that line is, whether they come at the high line or not. But regardless, you know, get play play balls in and around them, in behind them, and uh, get Sun on his on, on his boots. You know, they 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 turn some of them turn like roundabouts. So yeah. um, yeah. you know, exploit that today. Absolutely. The Alaskan Hotspur, good to see you. Absolute love. Big up to Daniel Sandoval as well, David uh, Granola, mm-hmm. and also Tony Darko. Dark Sun G says, this is our best 11 for that unbeaten run. Uh, this is our best 11 minus Richie for that unbeaten uh, run, he says. And uh, Richie feels like he's going to come back sooner rather than later. At least he seems disappointed that probably wasn't available for this one, Dark Sun G, because he wanted to be. Uh, but Postacoglu sort of was ruling him out straight away. Uh, but once he is back into this team, just think of it, yeah, as an extra boost, you know, to this team, an extra way to solve problems and, uh, you know, go out and win games because he offers such a different dynamic to a lot of the other players. And uh, him and Sonny together, I just think, are sort of the future of this forward line, at least for right now. I think they've been our two best players in that forward line this season. Be great to have him back. Big up, Dark Sun G. And then he also says as well, Tuchel, Eric Ten Hag, Pach, uh, Poch, <laughs> the Mariners, or sorry, what am I saying? Uh, Tuchel, Eric Ten Hag, Poch, uh, the managers who were linked to us before Ange came are really managing uh, poorly, which shows we chose the right manager for us and the players. Absolutely right, Dark Sun G. Tuchel, I think, made an embarrassment of all the riches that he has actually at Bayern. I'm very surprised and shocked by how much of a meal he's made of that. Ten Hag is just a fraud. I think Levy actually got that one spot on straight away and is a bit of a weirdo, I think, in the press conferences. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, he's just a bit delusional. Mm. And then Pochettino, I think he's just kind of weirdly struggling, like for a lot of reasons. And um, I think it's maybe, I don't know, like a tactics, a lot of things actually I'd, I'd take a while to explain. And then uh, Ange, right? Despite, you know, Various times when, yes, you know, we've been caught out. Yes, we've been taught a lesson. I think Ange Postacoglu, like, come on, like, he's made a huge statement in this Premier League, and he's given a lot of people something to think about, and he's given a lot of people fear. He's embarrassed a lot of people as well, and he's dominated the majority of the games that he has played. And I think Postacoglu, you know, with how people were saying he was going to kick out, you know, plenty of people were lining us up for relegation and things like that with the way that, you know, his tactics, you know, are and, and everything. So Postacoglu has done a fantastic job. Darkson. Look, every club out there is searching for what we've got. A manager that plays the football we do. Every club is, is searching for it. You know, we're lucky in that regard. United brought in Ten Hag, thinking they were going to get that. It hasn't happened. Chelsea brought in Pochettino, Pochettino thinking they were going to get that. It hasn't happened, you know. Um, so, you know, bringing in Ange Postacoglu and it working out, making the right signings. We've managed to leapfrog them clubs. Let's capitalise on it now going forward. Let's capitalise on it today. And then in the summer, Dark Sun G, get a few <laughs> more signings in here. <laughs> big up dark sun g big up just a girl loves spurs big t's in the house good to see you jim just a guy who loves spurs as well good to see you jimbo uh quincy b uh we also have jerry good to see you jerry really appreciate your support stevie d big up stevie g apologies yeah. in advance from imminent non 
nonsense. <laughs> Not had a drink all weekend, <laughs> but just poured a large one. Enjoy a watch along line, Stevie D. Up, no baby. need to apologize, my man. No need to apologize, sir. Um, I'd actually think you're probably, you know, dare I say, maybe more reasonable once you probably have a large one poured, you know. <laughs> you know, probably have, you know, a bit more calm, you know. At least that's what sometimes it could bring me. Big up, Dar- uh, big up, Stevie D. And then also as well, Mark, another Mark who's a member, member of the Mark Army, PJ uh, Berlin. Good to see you, uh, PJ. Dylan Harris, member of the Harris Army. Big Cara up, Miguel Escobedo. Um, so many people now. So really do appreciate you guys. Let's get ready. Let's huge, huge game here. And um, mm-hmm. a massive game for this Pasta Cogla journey, like I said. And like we've part, kind of been saying this whole time, we're really happy, really satisfied with where we are, how far we've come so far in this mm-hmm. journey. But still, you can think in the moment and you can still be a bit <laughs> selfish and kind of think like, you know what, massive opportunity here to mm-hmm. potentially, like I said, overachieve and you know go well beyond mm-hmm. what people had uh, originally set out for this season. So huge game. Mm-hmm. Must not No, lose. look, it's a huge... Yeah. It's a huge game. Now now it's time for us to kick on. We've been given the opportunity to be able to kick on and improve our season. Let's take that opportunity today. Let's not go into this scared or anything like that. You know, we, we, we've got some great players there who, you know, a lot of them clubs in the Premier League across where our football would love to get their hands on right now. Go out there, put in your best performance for the season and re- announce yourself on this league table. Already gone in with a long ball in behind to try and go for Kulu. Is it misty or is it raining? What's going on there? Yeah, yeah. What, yeah, what is, there? What is... The cameraman needs to clean his lens. One, or, one thing or the other. <laughs> yeah, it looks very misty uh, up in Birmingham. Oh, I believe Zoe might be up there. The early press on. Let us know, Zoe. <laughs> oh, Mickey. Romero. Oh, rum, rum. Already well a little chaotic. Paul. Well done. Kulusevsky. Oh, nice well done, Kulu. Picks up the free kick. Opening 30 seconds. Philly looking to get physical with us from the off. Just a girl who left Spurs giving us some fist bumps, a nice little handshake. Appreciate that, just a girl who left Spurs. Hopefully you're all right this morning, Kate. Come on. Big up, Kate. She was on We Are Talking TV with me before, and we had a Ooh. we had a good chat about this game, good chat about Spurs. Big, big game today. I cannot wait. Come on, Spurs. In possession here. Mickey uh, Romero. In the sunny, dropping very deep. Good hold up well play. Done. Well done, Sonny. It's getting clipped at as well. This cameraman needs to clean his lens. It's a joke. <laughs> I can barely make out the players. It's a joke. I think they're maybe... It just was a misty morning in Birmingham, Dave. And it also could be they're going for a West Ham impression or some of some kind. Maybe it's just some bubble, uh, you know, haze or of some sort. I'm not sure. It's very hazy. You think they got missed in Birmingham? It's a shit hole. <laughs> uh, it's a joke. Here we are, building up to a nice game, ready for the match day experience, <laughs> and we can barely see the pitch. <laughs> Oh, now the ref wants to get involved. You stay out of it. Oh, who's this ref, Dark Sun G? I forgot, you know, I'm, I'm, he's not oh, one of the name? main, he's not one of the main imbeciles that I think of, but. Um... No, Dark Sun G was saying in the pre-match build-up, we've actually got uh, decent enough records uh, with these with these referees and the VAR guy. And the VAR, that's good. It's not like we're going to get a penalty. That'd be too much to ask for. But... No. Someone said that earlier <laughs> on, you've like, you got more penalties against everything than what we have all season. <laughs> You know, one of those Garnacha penalties, you know, we probably have got, we've probably had happen to one of us and they've just, yeah. you know, not even looked at. Corner last week should have had a penalty. Stole wall penalty. Pop Matsar, a little too far in front of uh, Pedro Poro there. With a shaky start. No one, like, not even Aston Villa or anyone from Tottenham really looked dominant or comfortable in possession. Yeah, so no far. one's even, yeah, no one's even taking control really in possession in any sort of fashion. It's just chaotic. Here they are, though. Villa, they've gone all the way back here. Sonny pressing Longley. All the way to all the way to Martinez. Conza. Conza. Oh! Oh, well done. Oh, Sit him down, Johnson. Johnson. Johnson nearly dispossessing Conza. High up Woo. the pitch there. Very unlucky. The press is good, though, on the soul fire jacket. They're on it. No, that was a good poke by Johnson. I mean, <coughs> lucky there, Conza, because if that didn't just go that far or if it ricocheted off of him or something mm. like that, you know, you have Sonny just right wide open with Martinez also away from his own net. It's clear to see that Villa are going to look to draw us onto it and try and play through us and hit us on the counter. Oh, nice oh, tackle by challenge. Johnson on cash. How's that foul, sir? No. How... Uh, they're going to, it's the Maddie cash protection. Brigade. Player after player and he gets oh. one challenge. You it's know great. they're going to be babysitting Matty Cash today, these referees. They're going to be babysitting he every foul. He won the ball. They're going to be babysitting every to. foul on Cash. They will. 
Honestly, if this continues, I'm going to get to the point I just want Romero to ragdoll him around like he did with Cucurella by the hair. He's pissing me off already, Matty Cash, and I didn't want to get involved into this today. Adoji, go on, big dog. VDV. On to Romis Bomius. David, I think the timer is synced up with what we're watching. There's just a slight delay, you know, with what we're putting out, you know, live and, and everything like that. Uh, well, Adoji. Adoji. How's that not free on him? I don't know. Son gets tackled. Oh, that's a good chance there. Unlucky. That's a good chance there. Good work rate from Johnson in the beginning. Yeah, he started off well. Ooh. Come on, get after that, Madison. Long lay. Close out the options well, though. Makes him go long. Clears it long. To Watkins. Ah, oh, this oh, is no, what he Romero. does. He gets done by Ollie Hot Watkins. Sleeping. Van Ven recovers. Well what done. Who, who's that? Mickey. Well done. Mickey Van Der Ven. Romero He's absolutely needs to be clattered into him, there. Mickey. He's absolutely clattered into him as well. He's... <laughs> He's Burst them. Don't put the ball out of play either. Let him roll around like a little girl and let's go. Someone make a run. Ah. See, Romero, this is a good game for Romero to maybe pick out some nice little passes over the top and things like that. Uh, it needs to be more oh, sunny when, when, when Watkins is around them, though. You know, he got picked there. That was poor by Romero. You should never have let Watkins beat him to that, to that ball there. Look at Watkins. He's still rolling around. Roly poly, cry baby. Get up. Yeah, Romero, Romero Romero needs to realize actually that that's what Watkins does. He's good at those yeah. sort of runs into the channel, runs in behind. He will take that's what he's good at. I, I would say it's not even always his hold up play. Yeah. Well done, Mickey. I was gonna say they're hardly looking at that, are they? No, they're not. Great they're not. The speed of him. He's like Thomas the Tank Engine. Freight train, straight train. <laughs> I, I mean, a train is a slow starter. I'd say he's like one of those <laughs> bullet trains, you know, like they have in Japan, you know. Oh, yeah. Them, yep, then New York's supposed to be absolutely rapid. I'm not sure, you know, if they take a while to get going, but here he is again. Smash him. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, he's getting some good contact into these players as well. I like the physicality from Mickey. Basuma. Basuma, good ball, straight Get turned here. Madison, backwards. Adoji. Basuma with the all-white as well, looking good. Mm. Steve D saying he doesn't like the white socks with it, Jack. He wants the blue socks back. <laughs> or, or, or at least the blue shorts, one or the other. You want some blue in there. I don't blame this, Steve. I, I, I don't mind the all-white this season. I really don't. Come on. That well done, Sar. Oh, well good done, turn. Sar. That's beautiful. On to Kulu. Kulu. Find somebody, Kulu. Come on, big dog. Basuma. Maybe stretch it. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Good switch. Oh, Good switch. Ball. Destiny. Adoji. In the sunny. Good, into sun. Good play. Back to Adoji. On to Sar. Nice Sar. play. Out to Some Poronator. Up. Make a run Come for Poro. Kulu. Big Ginge. In behind. Great ball to Poronator. Back Delivers to Poro. Oh! He's took a deflection, just gone over. That's got to be a corner kick. No, he's running back. It must be a goal kick. How? Big up, Lazy8. Good to see you in the house. Big up, King Hoddle. Big up, Nick. See you at the North London Derby, Nico. Ah, oh, legend. How's this not a corner? Look like... Oh, he's offside, is he? No, he's not. He's on. Unlucky. Tottenham looking to get the press on here. Sonny on Emmanuel Martinez. I'm telling you, there's a goal there, you know, with, with him picking his pocket. He's taking a long time on that ball. Mm. Martinez is... Matty Cash. Back to Martinez. Martinez to Lengley. Lengley goes out all the way into Watkins' feet. He loses it. Kulu picks it up. Don't you dare ref. Oh, my God. You may as well put on an Aston Villa jersey, you twerp. How's that a free kick? Shocking. He's not even hiding it. It's embarrassing. He probably has the Villa logo shaved in the back of his head when you see him turn around. Really is. What's the point of this, you know, lovely brand new weight room that we have? You know, if the referees don't even allow us to use it, really, you know, on the pitch. Every time, just babysitting these players. Steve Webb, yes, I am going to the North London Derby, my man. I'm absolutely buzzing about it. I cannot wait. But uh, I'm just, I'm just sick, <laughs> sick to death of the referees. Oh yes, oh, well, Basuma. Oh my Basuma. lord! Again! Oh, oh my lord! lord. Oh. We're out Where is the foul, right, King Hall? Where is the player after Tottenham player? We made Where is the foul here? Oh, he wins it. 
Where is oh the... my god, it's so clean. It's oh, cleaner than my bed so They were washed last night. Oh, Basuma, on, just absolutely just... Oh. Oh, my Lord, I feel bad for the man. I mean, that just makes you not want to get stuck in. You know, that's just, he got so stuck in there. How do you not, it just kills the Unfortunately, motivation. we're against 12 men today, Jack. No, that's just ridiculous. That's just baby. Hey, that's disgusting. Like, he didn't even foul me. He just won the ball so clean. It's actually, he oh, won it I twice. don't understand what he's being. Spec savers for him. Go and get your eyes tested. Great ball by Romero. Come on, Van de Ben. Spurs probably been oh, on the we ball. Score, We've be been on the ball more so far as well, which is nice. You know, Villa are kind of conceding possession to us. Yeah, we're starting to get on. on they the still, ball. you know, definitely no pressing high. You know, they're going for that not the highest of, you know, kind of going for that middle middle of the ground high line where they're still they're not still an offside off the track. Ball by Spurs players today, well done, Udoji. Good run. That's the Udoji just crossed the six. Oh, oh cool! Why didn't you slide? Didn't he hit it with his he right? Could have hit it with his he right back pass. Back again. Again. Oh. Oh. Too high. Just over his head. Sarah picks it back up. Great ball at back to Van de Ven to recycle it. Back to Brennan. Come on, Brennan. Come on, Johnson. I'll become your number one there fan you if go. you score. Oh, he skins Lovely. him. Cuts inside again. There you go, man. Oh, have one, Sarah. There you go, Sarah. Oh, oh, you gotta, the maybe you got to play that over the top. Yeah, I think Ball I behind to, John, uh, to, I to Watkins. The Doji cleans up as well. Well done, lads. He's everywhere so far. Good recoveries. Great recoveries. Way to work for each other. Oh, I thought that was about to fall. Drop nicely onto Madison's head. Just that was an a great higher. ball. That was a great ball from Adoji, says Ripsy85. It was. We're, we're blame Madison's dad for that, for him not being an inch higher. <laughs> blame the hairline. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey. PDV. Looking to draw Villa out here. Goes all the way back to Vicario. By the way, touch a class by Vicario going to watch um, Josh oh, Keeney there midweek. I know. Dark Sun G, did you see that as well, Dark Sun G? Um, the Cario, yeah. Went to watch a game of uh, one of our really young, talented keepers, uh, Josh Keeley. Incredible. Just honestly. Unbelievable. And that's also off the back Cario. of him turning up for a clinic that um, Rob Birch put on for the academy. Um, you know, he turned up to that as well. He's fully close. Love, love the Cario. Oh, no. Kulu gets dispossessed here. Watkins running at. Well done. Oh, well Romero done, Romero. Just goes easy. Easy. Nice, Into Basuma. Basuma. Nice. Well done, first Romero. time. Sir! Oh, ref, that's not, oh, how's he not even blowing his whistle? Of course, the referee fantastic. doesn't blow it as well. Of course, he doesn't even blow it. Of course, he doesn't even blow it. He's, like, waiting to see if Villa can turn it over. Uh, Jack, David Ginola says they're playing a 5-3-2. It doesn't um, look like a 5 at the back to me. Looks like a 4 with Matty Cash. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be surprised if... Tielemans drops into midfield, who's technically playing, you know, on the left side. He drops into midfield, makes it more congested. And then someone like a Matty Cash actually drops into the mm. into the back line, makes it harder for Spurs in those wide areas, right? And uh, then Konsa can move more into the into the mm. back line as well. I wouldn't be surprised if... No, maybe he's right. There was a back line. Maybe it's five out. Of oh, well done, Johnson. Oh, well done. Yeah. Well done, See, Johnson. Play Play ah, someone. Oh, he's, all the options are a little gone. conservative there, but good there. movement, good movement. A little conservative though. Starting off, Bright Johnson has to be fair to the kid. Yeah, I just like his movement off of the ball and his yeah. work rate so far. He's had so he's much. Be sharp and on the ball. has got to him today. He's been sharp on it. Yeah, he's doing BDB. both things well. He's doing both things mm. very well. The Johnson Georgie here onto Johnson. Well done, oh, it cuts inside again. That's brilliant. Um, oh, just, oh, just too far in front of Sar and also. But you know Kulisevsky. what? At least he's trying these things. Last week we weren't. It's good. No, it's great. This is also better than Werner's start. I'd say in the first half mm. from last week, much better yeah. than what Werner was was playing. Everyone in the chat saying it's a decent start. That has been. Pedro has back to Vicario. Woo! Well done, Vic. Balls of steel. Pedro, <laughs> out wide to, to Mickey, Destiny Udoji here, left-hand side, into matters, Basuma, being careful. He's been all right, actually, you know, I was worried about him maybe getting his pocket picked earlier on, he's been very good in possession. No, he's been tidy, he's not trying anything ridiculous either, no loose touches yeah. so far. Oh, Romero, see that run? Oh, oh, it's a little late great now, ball to though. Sir. It's just over here. Yeah, he didn't get turned quick enough, hit. too. He was clean through there as well. 
those are the right runs though that we need to make beyond that back line you know kind of mm-hmm. runs from deep because if you make those runs from deep against that high line they are harder to track yeah No, I'm happy with the start. We look good out of possession. A lot of movement. Players are bright in possession. I'm happy with the start we've made. Very happy. Into Luis. Plays it back to to Longley. Longley being pressured by Kulu. Plays out, though, to Pau Torres. Into Tielemans. Villa do break out here, though. Well done, Kulu. Kulu tracks back. back Great work rate. Villa go down the line here. Mickey Van de Ven. Good oh, strength. He's just... Oh, great turn as well. Such a... Oh, oh no, Basuma, Basuma. Justice, we gave him praise. No, <laughs> Commentator's curse. It's falling to Leo uh, Tillemans. He goes Good job, shots. Pedro. Well, well done by Paro. Come on, lads. That was sloppy by Basuma. Back post. Over just here. commentator's curse, just as we showed him a bit of praise. <laughs> no more praise. We're banning praise for Basuma from <laughs> Seth and Jack and in the chat until the game's over. So if we see you praising Basuma, we're going to have to put you oh in timeout because he does oh this. Lord. The next moment, this is at the next time he was on the ball, literally the second time after that, he's on the ball. Uh, it's hilarious. I even said it as well. No loose touches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my Lord. Matters. Madison. Great ball out to Romero. It's better. Move it, Romero. Oh, Sonny was there. He Sorry. made the run. Yeah, he did. See Kulu. Play Kulu. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, Romero. Romero. Oh, it's filthy. He's running with it. Oh, oh not no, in the same wavelength. Oh, well man, done, man. Mickey. Brilliant. Sir! Oh, my God. The protection of these players, man. What are we supposed to be doing, Raph? Actually, what are we supposed to be doing? Oh, he's a joke. He wants to be a player that bad. Stick him in the fucking mascot suit. I'm sick of the referees. I'm sick of them. May as well just walk around with a Villa kit with number 12 on the back. It's a bloody joke. He's won the ball. Like, what are you supposed to do? Ask him for it. Please, ref, can we have possession now? I heard it's a nightmare to park at Villa. Maybe they gave him, like, a parking receipt or something, you know, <laughs> like a discount. So he's just Probably being had to partial. Fly in. To be fair, I wouldn't want to be driving through Birmingham either. I heard it's just a nightmare to get to that ground. So maybe, you know, they've given him, you know, a, a chauffeur, a nice valet. Well, I know Ollie was there a few weeks ago. He was over there on what, some work thing. So he just said he'd go and watch Phil in Newcastle. I'll ask him. I'll ask him. It's a long ball over the top. Well he Poros said he deals with it brilliantly. Pop him out of Sarah. Oh, it. loose touch oh, from Sar. Oh. Poor ball. Well done. Back to Tottenham. Throw into Tottenham. Well, so far, Spurs definitely been much better, much sharper, but. You'd like to take advantage of it. You'd like we to still haven't tested Martinez, though, have we really? No, no, not really. We've actually but had moments sure. where we've turned it over. We've actually gotten unlucky, really. It's just yeah. been like, um, you know, it, it, wrong, the pass. Deflect, wrong pass or even like the we won it. And then the referee, like, <laughs> the referee yeah. has blown it up and hasn't allowed us to get. St- oh, Johnson. Oh, Johnson skins, man on the outside. Skins cash. Leaves him cashless. Got Sir! Oh, my God. If you don't blow this, I'm going to kill you. He's given it. Thank God. That's a blatant free kick. Matty Cash again. He's so petulant. Just drop him an elbow. People's elbow. Bring out the big show. Do you know what we should have done, Jack? We should have hired the big show today. And we sort of got him to walk out the tunnel. Get him at Matty oh, Cash. Rap. Jesus Christ. It's so rash. If that was Romero, he'd be sent off. He didn't even get a booking. I mean, I'm, I'm going to need more challenges. The ref going to let them make like this. Come on, Poro. This is what you're back in the side for. These set-piece deliveries. Come on, Postman, let's deliver. It's your time. It's Mother's Day. Paul Connor says, our Villa sitting back then? It's not exactly sitting back. There's just not been a We're sharp in possession. We're turning the ball over a lot against them, Paul, and making them very uncomfortable. And then also, they play in this sort of like hybrid, you know, uh, kind of offside trap. Uh, Paul with the delivery towards Good the back ball. post. Good ball. Oh, Van der Ven was nearly free there. Well done, Kulu, sir. No, not oh, the no, right pass, sir. Oh, no. They skip by Paul. Got to get back now. In, plays in. Doji, he's got to be off. Ollie Watkins he's got, he's on to be off. He's got to be off. Or is that Watkins there? He's got to be off. Well done, he squares Poirot, it. But he's got to be doing? off. He's got to be off. He's got to be off. He has to be. If he's gone to square that and that shot and it's not offside, he's shocking. I don't want to sign him. Yeah, he's offside. Yeah, he's got to be a mile off. It's not not two kind of sloppy little touches and moments from Sar kind of two times in a row now. Yeah. That was a poor header there. You yeah, he's got to actually, you got to just head that back into the box, you know, whether it's even going to Martinez, you know, you take the risk, but. Yeah. 
you shouldn't be heading it square like that. Sar gives away foul as well. <laughs> so, so, no How's that way, a yellow she, card? Oh my lord. How, what's he even How done to he, give him a yellow card? How's that a yellow? Mike Cash absolutely assassinated Johnson. Nothing. Sar gets a yellow. Like honestly, just, he I'm bumps sick. into him. He just bumps into him. Oh, did he hit he it with falls. his hand? He slips. What can he do? Referee's a joke. Martin Nicebridge says, "Sir, always cracks me up. He loves it, Jacko." <laughs> uh, Big up, Martin. They're lucky I do get to call them sir, really, Martin Nicebridge. If, I, if I'm to be perfectly honest with these referees, especially this season, it feels like they don't really deserve a sir. Seems like he's dying to send off a Spurs player, doesn't it? First challenge, yellow card. It's an <laughs> absolute a joke. It's, it, it, you know, it's, 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 it's like the Adoji syndrome. He gets absolutely straddled every opening game. As soon as he makes a challenge, booked. It's a joke. How is that a yellow? Faz Radfar agrees. Big up Faz. But how is that a yellow, man? It's disgusting. John McGinn whips it in. He's free kick. No. Vicario well, punches. Vicario. Good bravery from Vic. Punches away. Good punch as well. Oop. Unlucky Sloppy Johnson. touch from, from Johnson there. The ref's going to alter this game with his yellows, isn't he? He's yeah. going to alter the flow of the game. I can feel it. The ref's not making Carlos it easy on us here. He, referee's not making it easy on us. Because like I said, we've actually won the ball very high up the pitch in certain periods. To but that was probably, super one. We would have went on to score. Yeah, I think even two other ones, there there might have been where, you know, had he just let it play and we would have probably had a good chance and a shot on goal, but he's taken it away from us. And then he's had these random moments where he's just given Villa free kicks, you know, for nothing. I will say, I think I've got to the conclusion on um, why Matty Cash is always so angry. Um, he's hair's thinning. I think that's why. <laughs> he, he used to have, have luscious, he, blonde, yeah, he used to have the best thinning. hair in the Premier League. He used to have the best yeah, hair I in the Premier League, poor guy. Angry. Yeah, I know, I know what it's like. I know what it's like, Cash. You've got good hair, Jack. Yeah, I'd say mine's probably thinning a bit as well, though. You know, you used to feel like, you know, you had the had good hair and then whatever it is, you know, start to go a bit cashless. Feel it with a bit of, pos- <laughs> a bit of possession here. Oh, good pressure. Come on, unlucky. Make him go along. Well done, Madison. Good pressing. Oh, no. Oh, Pedro, well done, Pedro. What's he doing over there? It's so fluid. Oh, like that. Get back over and get a doji back over this side. Oh, no, they're Mickey, in the side. Good block. Well done. Great defending, Mickey Van de Van. Is Poro doing that left back? Looks like he's going to stay there until he gets a chance to get back over to the right. Matty Cash looks like he's going to deliver a long throw in into the box. Hopefully it slips out your hands. Cons has gone up. Well, we know where this ball's going. That's it, the carry all. Mm, Got to get rid. Oh. Well done, good block. John McGinn goes back. Someone get out. Switch your play. It's a great ball to Matty Cash. Matty Cash pulls it back from John McGinn. He looks to deliver it. Great well block. Done, Who's Johnson. That great bloody defending. It's gone out well for done, a corner Johnson. by Johnson. Another free, another set piece for for Villa here. Corner kick. Feel again, Johnson, I'd bit, say Johnson and um and Mickey Van de Ven, I'd say probably brightest up the up the players so far. Mm. I mean Johnson's been great going forward. He's actually worked much harder off of the ball than I really have seen yeah. him do all season. <laughs> and then yeah. um in the case of uh, Mickey Van de Ven, just class and elegant as per usual. Yeah, Van Van de Ven's been good. He's mopped up a lot there. Let's just deal with this set piece. Don't give anything stupid away. If Langley scores, I'll go ballistic. It's right in on top of a carry and it's cleared by Van de Ven. Great header. Oh, Udoji tried to touch it past Tielemans there to start a break. Come on, Spurs. Let's get up the other end and create something. God, he's just... He breathes crack. <laughs> the booking has already changed the complex of the game. Aston Villa are all over the ball now since the, since the yellow card. I'm sick of it. Come on, Spurs. Cario just looks like he's just so just amped at all stages. He's just such a legend. He's wired. That guy must have about 10 espressos. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. Leon Bailey. Out to Matty yes, Cash. Yes, Udoji. 
Well done, man. Great challenge. Conza picks it up. McGinn John switches McGinn. it. John McGinn's out to the right hand Dina side. Whips it in. Vicario. I love the carry all. Vicario looking to, to start a break. Oh, I can't find anybody. He's taking his time, Vic. Gives it to Mickey. Mickey Van der Ven. And the Basuma. In the Basuma. Good turn. Oh, Madison, Madison, get turned, man. Chase, you fucking turn on the ball. I swear to God. Look at what Basuma just did. You get turned, oh. man. Jeez. Basuma Basuma's, was, Basuma's turn was far more sketchy as well. Like, that's a far more scary turn to have to make than what Madison had to do. Uh, bad oh, pass from Romero. Oh, Van der Ven into trouble. Yeah. But that's six times I've seen Madison pass the ball backwards already. That's what I was he just say. needs to get turned. He's acres of space. Get turned. Feed Son. Feed Johnson. Catch the high line. I was going to say, it's been Johnson and Mickey Van de Ven who've had the brightest start so far. And then, once again, like, certain midfielders just... I'd say Basuma, for the most part, has been all right. Yes, he had that little bad moment, but he's been all right. One pass, and yeah, then, he's been good. Yeah, and then Saar, actually, sadly, you know, you would say he's just been a little... Okay, good oh. moment from Udoji, though, just a moment. Great link up between Udoji and Son. Johnson, oh. he wants it back. That's a hard ball. Oh, he doesn't see it. He, this guy just has selective vision. <laughs> that must be new. <laughs> Fucking hell, walked into but the yeah. Dodgers, yeah, you've got select the vision. Never heard of it in my life. Midfield, like Madison needs to get into the... Midfielders like Madison and Saar need to kind of improve, I'd say. Come on, let's go on. To, well done, Madison. Get in his face. Look at him holding his hands up. Get away. Oh, the referee calls Madison over. I think Madison is just pointing out that his missus is in the crowd and Douglas Luiz <laughs> is asking for a hug. and He says, can't be doing that when his missus is watching this game. Referee's more concerned with Madison than he is the Villa player. That's it, Madison. You're Luis is his biggest fan. He's probably paid. Probably around there yesterday having Saturday dinner. It's probably, Saturday night takeaway. Probably has a Matters bobblehead in his room. <laughs> Udoji. Well done, Udoji. Cesar. Oh, well Good done. Pod. Poro. Oh, he could Kulu. Shit, for a shot there. Well done, Kulu. Ball in. Great ball. Uh, oh, shit, not just... in the right area. I can understand what he was trying to do there. Just not good pressure, game. though, Kulu. Great pressure. Oh, oh my oh. lord, man. Oh my <laughs> lord, sir. They just go down on any bit of pressure. Jeez, ref. Oh, just, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. All over the also. top. Well done, Pedro. Let go out. Let go out. Well, well done, done, Pedro, brilliant. sir. Brilliant defending. <laughs> I love that high five between the two boys there. <laughs> Romero and Poro. This referee is disgraceful. Someone needs to get a fan at the game and text them and just say, look, you can't oh, let what this a happen. Pass. Someone's going to have to do something. Oh, great ball. Basuma. Well done from well Basuma done, and Vicario. Vicario and Basuma, two very good passes. Great ball by Poro. Madison, you got him. Feed him. There you go. In the sunny. Go on, burn him. You got Kulu. Play him. There you go. Kulu. He's on. Cuts it back. No way. No you way. look on. How's he off? He's on. Oh. He looked on. It hurts. It bloody, the incompetence is hurting. Ah, uh, yeah. Sonny's just misinterpreted that bounce. Yeah, he was oh, okay. off. Sonny kind of like, yeah, let that bounce just go a bit behind him. Couldn't take it in full stride. Oh, if Son could have got that first touch right. It sort of yeah. took an awkward bounce right. If he got that right, he was got. He was in. Long ball over top by Villa all the way back to Big Vic. Come on, Spurs. Let's go and get one now. <laughs> Come on. Tyler saying that lines have been got a stiffy putting up the flag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. He won't he won't be holding the, the, the pole in the next he'll just have the flag waiting. hanging he's off. Been it, waiting very, he's been waiting very <laughs> been eagerly, Tyler. He's been so eager. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Johnson, unlucky few runners there. Maybe he could have been a bit more audacious on the ball. Over to Romero. Oh, Kulu, what is that? Yeah. Bailey. Oh, he's played the wrong ball altogether there. If he played the other runner in behind Romero, oh, they were clean in. Yeah, they were. Destiny Adoji picks it up. Madison. Great ball to Sonny! Just again, the touch of aids him. Unlucky. Just a yard slightly ahead of him. It's a great ball by Madison with the outside of the boot, though. It's a great attempt. Over I'm the top. Just have to be patient here today, Romero. Why is he let that bounce? Out wide to Cash. Cash plays oh, Bailey into the Bailey. area. 
Ball across the it's six. Oh, what a save. Does that come off the carry or that save? No, he's just missed it. Matty Cash, thank God. Basuma got across there very well as well. Big up, Mr. Shire. Good to see you in the house. Hopefully you keep him well. Big up, stay humble as well. Great to see you guys. Guys, keep getting your thoughts in on the game so far in the chat for us to read as we're going along here. Van de Ven, that's a heavy touch, but he gets away with it. Nice, Dojie. Great, Dojie. great Dojie. turn. Sonny. Oh, I, just, gets... I just want to see Sonny get on his bike there. He's got he a turn there, Sonny. Get yes. on your bike. Go in. That and also don't just get turned. don't start at other people either. That was you. You've got three missed touches in the last two minutes, and then that. He's also had so much green grass behind him, actually. He could have just gotten turned. It's a bit like what Vernon was doing last week. he has got green grass in front of him to run into, and they're running towards him. What are they doing? Running behind. Well Martinez. done, Romero. Great oh, touch. Well done, Romero. Great touch. In a sunny. Great touch, Sonny. Sunny. Here we go. Oh, oh you have him, man. Oh, Kulu, yes. Kulu. Oh, oh. Sonny, you have him, man. We're Great starting run. to knock on the door, though. They're starting to get spaces there. we just got to find the right pass. Cash. Now's the time. Now's the time, Adoji. Smash him. Oh. Martinez. Good pressure, Johnson. Johnson Great here. pressure, Johnson. Here, like... Great pressure, Johnson. Win that man. Oh, unlucky. Getting so unlucky Keep with going, these kid. deflections. Don't give it up. Well done. He's done brilliantly there. Just don't let him Don't out foul. Now. Don't foul. Don't foul. Don't yeah. foul. Well, well done, done, Johnson. Absolute he's getting so unlucky. I feel bad for him, man, because he's getting two deflections and it's not gone his way there. We could have probably turned those over and yeah. easily could have had an open goal. The bounce of the ball just isn't going our way so far. No, yeah, we've had some unlucky bounces. That's that's true. And then Sonny's Mike had... trying to steal about 50 yards. Where is he going? Get back to the corner flight, you twerp. Then, Son... <laughs> then Sonny's... Oh, good turnover. <sighs> oh. Sonny's also just been slightly off at the last few possessions. Yeah. Could have gotten turned and played that pass in for Johnson and behind. Yeah. Sonny just needs to get his head into the game a bit more, get switched on a little. Oh, well on Kulu. Do Sarsky. another theory, too. You know how they hate Udoji, right, the, the referees? I think they also do yeah. hate Kulusevsky. Anytime Kulusevsky presses, they're just waiting yeah. to blow that whistle just straight away. The moment oh, you get to play. They're probably on a bonus for every time they blow the whistle against Tottenham. That's why they're so eager to do it. Didn't you? Just throw the ball. Get on with it. It's about 10 minutes wasted there. That's ours. No? Everybody's oh, frustrated that there's no shots on goal. I can get, I can understand that. But at the same yeah. time, if you've actually really been watching this game, you would say that Spurs have looked like the more likely team to score in these, in this passage. Look, just play. Surely we can do better, yes. But I'd say we have been the better team so far. Look, I'm not happy with no shots on goal either. But look, we were always going to have to... The first 30 minutes were always going to be a dogfight. You have to earn the right to play. It was always going to be like that. You know, Villa have had some breakaways where they've played the wrong option. We've had some breakaways where we've overhit passes and played the wrong option. You know, but, you know, look, I'm okay with that. I think the breakthrough will come. I just want to see Son be on the shoulder of the last man. He keeps coming yeah. towards the ball. It's not what we need him to do. Get on the shoulder of the last man. And every time someone gets on the ball, go. It's that, and I think that would be the difference. It's that, and I, I agree. We're just not exactly executed some certain moments in, in the best way we can. But for the most part, I'd say Spurs have also done a much better job in winning the ball back, kind of keeping mm. possession, sort of controlling the tempo of the game. Villa, it's mm. been very sporadic with them. No, we've done well. Look, no, I don't think anyone expects us to come to Villa Park and dominate the opening exchange. Or we've also, I meant to say, what right. I meant to say was it's actually just seriously just been a much better start than... Yeah, we've done better than what I thought we would. Look, yeah. people have to remember, these are better than Palace as well. Better defense, defensively as well than Crystal Palace, you know. Well done, Sonny. Oh, well done, Sonny. get there. Oh, oh sir! Left, left. How's he not giving it? Oh, my oh, Lord, man. Oh, my Lord, man. He's just skinned him twice there, and then the referee is just... Like Jeez, he's, it's, just, oh. uh, it's like playing against 13 men. Well done, sir. Great ball to Destiny Adoji. On to Johnson. Come on, Johnson. Yes. Cuts it, gives it back to Madison. What's Madison going to do? It's a shit ball. It's just a shit ball. <clears throat> Romero. Well done, Vic. 
on to Van der Venny. Oh, look at that. Striding forward. Great play. Oh, Madison. Matters. Oh, no. He got caught with Van der Venny up the pitch here. Basuma. Basuma. Got to close him down, man. Got to get out there, Basuma. Oh, no. Is no, that a penalty? A penalty. I don't believe it. That's going to be given. They didn't really appeal that much. It's hard to tell whether that was clean. <laughs> looked like a penalty to me. Yeah, it looked like a penalty. It kind of looked like, looked like one of the Everton penalties from yesterday. Yeah. Sar, that's man, a huge Man, matters, though, really poor. Him. Matters, once again, though, really poor, man. He's just he's just not gotten into games. No. Look at the high line Villa are playing as well. They're well playing the high Basuma. line. They're not executing. That's better. Well done, Basuma. Go on, Kulu. Come on, Kulu. Find that ball. No one there. No one in there. Come on, Brennan. Run at him. That's it, kid. Sonny, get in the box and be an option. He's standing corner. on the edge of the box. That's a corner. What's Sonny standing on the edge of the box for? Get in there. If he's gone to beat his man, you have to make that run. There's only one place the ball's going. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a oh, great he challenge. He did win the ball. He did win the ball. He touched it's it. It's a bloody great challenge. It's a little yeah, clumsy. I mean, it's a little clumsy from both of them. That's what kind of made it awkward. It's kind of clumsy from both of them. But it's, yeah. he, I mean, I'm not blaming Basuma though at all because it's Madison's really bad turnover anyway. Like he had to cover a lot of ground and then cumber and also Leon Bailey right now this season yeah. easily been one of the best one on one players in the Premier League and probably European football this season. Yeah. So I'd say well done to Basuma there. Well done. Starting to get a bit frustrated with Sonny. He's not he's not being yeah. in the right position. Matters and Sonny, two of our best players, I'd say, need to improve. <clears throat> right? Big time. The two guys that are the usual usual people that you'd expect to be showing up in these big games. Yeah. Of course there will come a stage where Watkins and Bailey will get more involved. We have to be yeah. beaten by then. That's well, the Premier League. Sure the have to step up here now. The Premier League, you know, a team can play terribly but still hurt you. It can be, they can be devastating. Yeah. That's it, Madison. Finally gets turned. Well done. Son again. What's he doing out there? <sighs> Romero. Van der Ven. Onto Madison. Come on, Golden Balls. Well done. Good ball into Basuma. Well done, That's Basuma. It. He's, he's been good today, Basuma. He's got turned at every opportunity. Doji, great yes, run. Doji. Oh, oh, good no, run no, from no. Sonny. That's not Don't you dare. Oh, my fucking Lord. Referee. Dude, they just I'm... fall over. Like, and they just fall on top of the ball, and then the referee just calling it every time. Oh, this ref's taking the absolute... It's like mistake. watching 11 Jordan I use. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. It's like 11 Jordan Ayus just constantly falling over on top of the ball like last week. Yeah, yeah. Remember Ayu last week gets two free kicks. Werner gets this exact same challenge. He gets 10 free kicks, ball. man. He gets, like, he gets 10 free kicks just for falling on top of the ball, and then the referee is just obliged just to give it to him. It's just so infuriating. What I would say to people, though, if anyone that's a bit anxious or nervous, let's not forget, Villa played midweek. You know, this game is going to be there for us in the second half. Yeah, I'd just again, like, yes, I'd say at halftime we could talk about some micro-improvements in certain areas, but if you were a Villa fan, you'd be more worried about Spurs than you would be, right? Like, you'd be worried about Spurs. You'd say yeah. that they probably have had a better start. They've clearly been able to control the game. Also, I I don't know, like maybe, you know, every fan is biased, but they probably would think some of the times that we have turned it over, some of the times that we have yeah. turned it over high up the pitch, they've gotten away with it. Madison, Madison again. Why is he even trying to take a touch there? He's got passes, Surprise, first time passes on. Oh, in behind, great Johnson. Johnson, great ball. Oh, oh brilliant. How ball there, no? Maybe clutching. Johnson. Oh, not oh, on the he same wavelength. Shot. He should have been brave there. Yeah, he should have been selfish there. Not on the same wavelength with Sonny. I think if, if that wasn't Sonny, I think the fact that it's Sonny felt like he had to get <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, it definitely is that. He's feeling confident, though, Johnson. Yeah, he's looking good. He's looking sharp. It's interesting that he has been the standout player of that forward line when you'd probably say he goes into this yeah. game as the one you'd think would be the weak link. Yeah. Definitely hasn't been. 
no, he's been good. He's been very sharp. The players he's that probably the players Madison. that have been yeah a good play by Romero in the Basuma here. Madison, will you fuck off away from? Why is he standing there holding yeah. his hand? Jesus Christ! And I'm Poro. sunny. It's a nothing ball. Uh, miss Miss Red. Oh, Mickey Van Van. Van Van. That's what a free. beast. What a beast. Ref not giving it no. What a beast. He's had a very good game as well, Van de Ven. He's been brilliant. Yeah, I'd say other than Van de Ven, though, like the players that you'd least expect to be the standout. Yeah. Being good. Least expect to be the standout performers with recent form as well. What I like from Basuma today, anytime time the ball's come into him, he's been so in. If people are on him, it's one touch moving yeah. out to the side, you know. And he's, and he's showing for it again. Positive. You know, he's, he's working yeah. hard to get onto the ball to show for it. It's not moving away from it. He's not hiding. He's well done, He's been a lot more Sonny. positive than Madison. Adoji. Matters. See a run, man. There you go. Good ball this time. Out to Kulu. Kulu. Oh. Then <sighs> they just keep getting in the last ditch tackles. It's annoying. He's, uh, You're so right, on, though, with Basuma getting turned every time. It's actually what's allowed us to control this game. Yeah. Because we're been usually, been very... most of the forward passing has come from him. Two of the players I've been most critical of this season have actually turned up today. Yeah, that's what I sort of meant. Exactly players you'd least expect for this massive game come on let's make this count let's go and get one basuma sir do you see that off the ball ref oh <laughs> tiny footwork by par on air that's a yellow no it's worse than sarah's challenge ref just balloon it off his fucking fat head and he won't stand there And then Gangle play by Basuma. Matters. Madison. In the Basuma. Suicide ball by Madison. Suicide ball by Madison. It's been really frustrating today, man. Like Past again, I'd I'd say it's one of those games with Madison where it's like you if if you didn't know anything about him and you didn't know anything about Spurs, you'd be surprised to hear that he's the number ten. Yeah. Because he's not playing like a number 10 in this game. No. Nowhere near it. Basuma's been almost a one-man midfield so far. Van de Ven on the ball. Cross to Romero. Yeah, Romero's telling Romero, Sarge to show. You just looked out to the right-hand side. You had Paro there. You don't need to be throwing your hands up. Johnson. I'm all. Oof. I can see that from up here. All the way back to Martinez. Clears it away. It long. Spurs back on the ball <laughs> here. Do you know what? I love that from Van Aven. How many times have we seen Dyer in years gone by? You just pump that straight back up the field. Just a little cushion header down to a doji. It's, it's all I was asking for last season. That's class. Oh, no, giving it away by Poro. Poro. Well done, Kulu. Yes, well Kulu, done, get Kulu. turned, man. Give Matters. Poro now. Matters. See Poro. If he goes backwards after all this, good ball to a doji. Move That's on to right. Johnson. Let's go, Johnson. Brennan. Take Burn him on, him. man. Burn him. That's all right. Well done, Johnson. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he had the inside again. Yeah, I feel like he should be no, taking it inside. He has that inside. John uh, Cash. Cash is getting mixed with you know his uh, yeah. with his running. He's just maybe took the wrong angle there. He actually Cash Cash thought he was going to go down the byline yeah. when he actually had the inside again. Well, good play from Johnson once again. But like I said, he, he could be he could box, be a little right? selfish. He's the most likely one to get a shot on goal here. He's the most likely yeah. one. He should think about getting a shot on goal. I'd like to see him cut in and bend one. Yeah, exactly. Son needs to give more movement in the box as well. Doji. Good matters ball, go on win that why do you not wait to jump it well done well, Ujoji. Well, good well, good strength they just go down all the f Every any stage time. man they just throw themselves to the floor it's, it's like you're playing against 11 bags of fucking paper just blowing themselves over every time well done Johnson <laughs> shit house and begin there we'll take that It's a tricky one to maybe maybe dissect that half time this one. 
Um, George. Reporting half time though, people. So start getting your thoughts in the chat for us to discuss. George saying Villa have been letting us play. We're just not taking advantage of it. Oh, yeah, look, yes, Basuma. Oh, Johnson. Into Sonny. Sonny, play See me him. Again. Sir. Puts oh, back. He should have shot. Again. shot. Should have shoot, shot. man. Shoot, Johnson. Be selfish, Quick, man. My only criticism of this half is have a fucking shot. Basuma again. Madison. Well Basuma, done, Basuma. He's been very good today. Sonny. He's way off it today. Sonny, yeah, it's just also looking a tad lethargic at times. Not really pressing, more when we're in possession. Oh, Romero oh, no. is also Romero. as well, giving it away a few times. It was a bit of a hard pass back to him in the first place by Basuma, but he's got to deal with it better there. It's Watkins. Good Cuts block. in. It's great defending by Romero to recover. Come on, Pedro. Out wide. It's great defending oh, by Romero. Oh, and Adinia. Well done, Basuma. Well done, Basuma. It's a few times he's been back there now covering. Well done. Watkins is gassed, or he's still hurting from that challenge with Mickey Van de Ven. People are saying swap Kulu and um, Johnson, Jack, on I'd, either side I'd, of the wings. I'd say keep Johnson where he is, man. Like, he's been our best player in this in this yeah. half. Why would you switch him? I actually think the problem is more Kulu and Son today, actually, than Johnson. I can't believe I'm saying I, that. I mean, if unless we think there's... If Johnson can replicate what he's doing on the left, on the right, sure. But at the moment, why would you... Why would you... Why would you break what's what's working right now he's yeah. giving cash a toward time there no in, it's free header it's looping it's just gone wide of a carrier's post we got away with that one there good header by Dini. he done well there it's just a short corner routine by aston villa spurs quick to get out but it's a great it's a great run by Dini in behind his way on side as well one player coming out one running in it's classic it's great movement he got off his shoulder? His shoulder actually Oh, I'm sure that had some paint on it, Jack. <laughs> nice, son. Sonny, good ball to Sar. Sar, you have Kulu. Oh, look, he's... look like a foul. Got it's a clattered. Foul long, but he's not going to get it, is he? Got clattered the off the ball. Referee hasn't even seen it. Udoji. Go on, Udoji. Someone make a run. Johnson, make a run, run man. Once. Get on the yes, outside, Udoji. Johnson. Run. Cut inside. Now's your opportunity. Yes, great good pass. Ball to Madison. What can Madison do? Comes backwards. If I have to keep saying this about him, I'm going to scream. Oh, my God, He's man. Number 10. Make a decision. Also, he should have just made a decision there. All I've said about Madison today is backwards, 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 fucking backwards. Yeah, man. It's towards the end of the half as well. Just have a shot. Have a shot. He's infuriating me. He is absolutely infuriating me. <sighs> half time. Half time. Look. Well, I mean, uh, it's uh, like I said, Dave. I mean, there. I think there are things that micro improvements here and there but spurs much better start much better first half than how we've played of recent i'd say we've been the better side but what are maybe the things that we could do better and then we could probably you know touch on what we're doing well i guess we'll yeah. probably intermix it while we're discussing it but i mean what are the things that spurs could do slightly better would you say look first off i want to say we're trying a lot more than what we did against crystal palace which is a positive it's yeah. just not coming off. There's been a couple of last-minute blocks, sloppy passes, you know, wrong, you know, s small bits of control that's been off. And it is becoming frustrating in that regard. But, look, I think we've made a very bright start, you know, to the game. I didn't expect to, well, I did maybe. I did say we'd come to Villa and put on a good performance. But many people didn't expect <laughs> us to walk, walk up to Villa Park and, and dominate possession the way we have, right? I didn't think this game was going to be like that. Villa have offered virtually absolutely nothing. I know some people say, will they go for it in the second half? Personally, I'm not quite so sure. You know, they got a game Thursday night. They'll have to make substitutions if they've got one eye on Europe. And we can catch them on later on in the game. Johnson's been good. I think the problem is, Jack... Anytime Johnson gets on the wing and, and skins cash, there's no movement in the box. Kulu yeah. needs to come from outside and in, make himself an option at the back post. Son needs to make a movement. There's times Kulu sex or Johnson's getting to the byline and Son's standing on the edge of the box. You yeah. know, it's not good enough, that movement. And also, there's times Son's just dropping into random positions. Stay on the shoulder of the high line. He scored a hat-trick here a few years ago doing that exact thing. Being on the line, came dropping deep, balls in behind. But again, Madison... He's pissing me off. He's not playing them balls. All I've said about Madison today is, Madison, backwards, gone backwards, gone backwards. He's our number 10. He's a great midfielder. Yeah. What does he not realize? We bought him in 
to play these balls, to feed the high line, you know, feed the runners. And he's just not doing it. And it's really, really irritating me. I think he really needs to step up. I think Romero's had a few sloppy moments that time. Being caught in possessions a couple of times needs to clean that up a little bit. We're not too far off getting a result here. We just need to tidy ourselves up a little bit. Yeah, I completely agree with you there, Dave. Um, I mean, for the most part, I'd say that it's weirdly been our best players that have been kind of missing in this game. Like the guys that Mm -hmm. you'd sort of expect to show up and they sort of higher profile, you know, everything's, you know, really important, you know, for the the rest of the season type of fixtures. Mm -hmm. And Sonny and been missing for the most part, hasn't been totally sloppy, but he's just been missing really. And uh, with Madison, I'd say a bit of sloppiness and then also missing, right? Not in the game, not really getting on the ball and making things happen. But also, Dave, think of the times that he's actually been dispossessed and uh, has actually turned it over for us in bad areas. I'd say maybe him and probably Romero and Saar on a couple of occasions have been uh, caught on the ball, you know, or maybe had some sloppy touches here and there that have led to the breaks that Villa have been given, right? Yeah. And for the most part, I'd say Villa have done mostly nothing. The, the times that they have been able to break forward are from these little maybe passages of play where, like I said, just a bit of sloppiness from Madison on the ball or Saar's had some loose touches and then Romero too has had some, you know, sloppy passes mm-hmm. here and there. But it's been weird that probably our most consistent, some of our best players this season, kind of missing a little bit in this game or just not really there at all. Mm -hmm. And then players that I'd say have been more inconsistent and have actually been sometimes some of the, yeah, kind of liabilities in certain games, weirdly been our best players in this game. Basuma, who I think has slowly been cooking back into his best form. I don't think this has come out of nowhere, the sort of performance. Mm -hmm. Like, I think he has been starting to get back to his best self. It really has, but he's been really solid. Just like you said, you know, really turning in, you know, possession, getting us forward. You said backwards with Madison. I'd say forward, you know, with a Basuma. He's only played forward, and he's also won the ball back in plenty of areas. He's actually been unlucky on a couple of occasions, too, with the referee, I'd say, in some of the times that he's won it back. And uh, I'd say, too, Brennan Johnson, man, like he's been giving that left hand or right hand side for Villa a tough time. Like uh, Cash Mm -hmm. looks cashless. He's looking lost. Konsa as well has had to constantly kind of sort of track back and uh, help him out in that regard. I'd say with Johnson, it's like just take advantage of this bit of play that you have, right? Show more confidence, maybe have a shot on goal. Maybe think of yourself, you know, in some Mm -hmm. of these moments. He's being weirdly too unselfish despite creating a lot of he's creating chances for himself but he's also creating chances for others he's also worked very hard off of the ball he's done everything that I kind of would criticize him for in the past usually he wasn't as good at creating chances for others and he never really worked as hard off of the ball as he has today it's been a completely different Brandon Johnson I'd love to say that I think his problem is he just it's it's like he believes in seniority as soon as he sees Son or Madison around him I've got to give it to them go and have a shot kid and even there near the end, when it, I think it was who was it, Madison slipped him through. He puts it across the six-yard box. Go and have a shot, kid. Mm-hmm. You know that that's the difference. You know that's the difference. If that was Sonny, you think Sonny's feeding him one of them? Not a hope. He's banging it. You know Johnson needs to learn that. He's been good, but he does need to learn to you know back himself and pull the trigger a little bit more. Um, I just found myself very frustrated, Jack, because although we've dominated the possession, although we've had, you know, promising breakaways and stuff like that, Villa's tested us, our goalkeeper, more than what we've tested theirs. It's a bit like last week against Crystal Palace where we came off. They tested our goalkeeper more than what we tested theirs, despite all the possession. And it is frustrating in that regard. But look, uh, I'll be honest, if I'm post the I'm telling Madison, you've got 10 minutes. You've got mm-hmm. 10 minutes, boy, or you better buck up. I don't pay you to stand. Like at one stage, Presuma picks up the ball. He's going forward with it. Madison's running beside him. Move off him. It's basics of football. It's absolutely wrecking my head. What you know, we've been screaming out for a playmaker for years. We get one. He's come back from injury and he's playing safer than, than anyone else out there. It's really infuriating. Yeah. Um yeah. I'd like to see Papa Matasar. I'd like to see that right hand side get in the game an awful lot. I think it's I don't think it's been uh, affecting the game whatsoever. Poro's been sort of anonymous in possession. Papa Matasar's been sloppy and Kulazeski hasn't done anything. That right hand side needs to come to the yeah. party, I would say. Yeah. If that doesn't come to the party in the next 10, 15 minutes, Postacog might look to make a, a change or two down that side with a Bentacor and a Werner or something like that. Um look, it's a decent building block to build off. But, I mean, we better not leave three points here behind today. It's there for us. We better go and take yeah. it. 
they've let us play and we got to take advantage of it. Uh, like uh, George said earlier in the chat, Martin Knightsbridge, big up to you, Martin. Really do appreciate your support, my man. Hope if you're out in sunny Spain watching this game, uh, hopefully you got a nice cold one uh, next to you so you can uh, take away the pressure and take away a bit of the stress. And he says, ball retention has been okay, but we need to shoe. I mean, that's probably, yeah. if you were to summarize it in 10 or so words, Dave, that's probably exactly it. Yeah. Yeah, he's absolutely spot on. It's almost like we want to play the perfect football, score the perfect goal. I'm all for that. But, you know, sometimes you, you just you got to have variation to your play, right? You can't always do the same pattern of play, the same routine. Even Man City don't do it, you know? They, they try different things, you know? How many games have Man City... Go back to the title when they won it under, um, uh, a few years ago. Company against Leicester. Bang one in from the edge of the box. Unexpected, you know? you got to take these risks sometimes, you know? The balls into the box have been piss poor, but I'd also argue, where's the movement in the box? Where's the runners in the box? Where's the presence in the box? There yeah. hasn't been one. Anytime Aston Villa's delivered it, they're getting three, four bodies flying in there. We don't. We don't have anybody. I think there's got to be a lot more gusto out of our players going forward. They have to want it more, in, in my opinion. I think everything's, you know, look, we, we, like I said, we're trying a bit more than what we were last week, but it's still not paying off. Especially with that presence in the box that you're talking about. You feel like if we don't have someone like a Richarlison, then you just need to shoot. You know, you need to shoot yeah. and you need to get, perhaps perhaps take advantage of, you know, a sloppy sort of kind of rebound goal of some sort of anything like mm. that. But I think that's a great way to summarize it, Martin Knightsbridge. Absolutely. And then Daddy Larson, Daniel Larson says, this is the type of game where matters should take a hold of the ball and create magic like KDB does for Man City. Very poor from him. I think Daniel Larson spot on here, Dave. That's a great comparison as well. Games like this, players like Kevin De Bruyne come to light. You know, they take advantage of, you know, when a team like a, a Villa is giving you this much time, this much space, you know, time on the ball as well. You got runners off of it. It's not like he hasn't had forwards like Johnson and players, you know, making space, getting open for him and other players in this team. I think Madison is just not playing like the number 10 that he's been brought in to be. Harry Kane, you know, when he left, we brought in Madison to replace Harry Kane's creativity. Can't replace all of him, but we did try to bring in someone like Madison to replace that sort of number 10-like creativity, and he's just not showing it today. No, Aniri, and it's, it's my biggest frustration. Like, these are the games where you bring him, you've bought him to make the difference in these games. These are the games you bought him for. And he's just shirking the responsibility. He's been he's playing more safe than Basuma. And Basuma, you know, is getting on the ball in more riskier positions and deeper positions where he can get his pocket picked. How's that happening? Yeah. I mean, when you're a playmaker, you've almost got license to just go and give the way but give the ball away, take, you know, all the time if you want. Go and try things. You've got the license to do it. That's what your job is. You've got more license than anyone else on the football pitch. Yeah. And he doesn't take it. It's like he doesn't want that responsibility. It's, it's really, really frustrating. It's really annoying because you look at him the first 10 games of the season. I remember there was games earlier on in the season where he tried ball after ball after ball. Okay, it didn't come off sometimes, but he still tried. Yeah, He's come back from injury. He's not even trying. Right there near the end, just before half time, he comes backwards with the ball. What have you got to lose by going, trying to beat your man, put the ball in the box, have a shot, something like that? Because as soon as they clear it, the referee's going to blow up anyway. So why are you passing it backwards? You're number 10. Yeah. It's what you're there to do. It's just infuriating. I think I think I think Daniel's absolutely spot on. You know, yeah. you see other playmakers get on the you know in the league. You look at Man City against Man United. They did the Brian, he's putting balls over the fullback's head onto the players' toes and stuff like we don't have anyone that yeah. can do that. That's not a problem. Whenever I see someone wearing a number ten shirt, Daniel, usually I expect them to be getting on the ball and making things happen and sort of right bringing out those uh those passes and that creativity that no one else in the team really can do that's the whole reason you're wearing that shirt mm -hmm. usually in the first place and I haven't seen it from him at all today big up drop kick your teacher big up daniel larson though i think you're so spot on man drop kick your teacher says i'd say kulu needs uh that yep. 15 minute warning too dave but i want him off completely he's been poor for months bring on timo Mariner. He says that, you know, he should probably get that 15-minute warning as well and that Kulusevsky's even been off of it for a while now. <clears throat> Look, I do get what people are saying about Kulu going forward. 100% I understand it. I do also think there's a lot of his games that he, to his game that he does well that gets overlooked, that gets overshadowed. Look, I'm not hiding away from it. He started piss poor last week against Palace, barely involved in the first half. Same again this half as well. It's not good enough from Kulusevsky. What I will say is, 
he's a little bit more isolated over there than what they ever what than what the left winger ever is. The left winger has a Doji Maraud and forward. That's not what Porro is asked to do. So he's a bit more isolated out that side. And I do think that probably pays a bit, you know, contributes to to him looking so isolated in the game yeah. because he doesn't have people overlapping him, overrunning him. But I'd also argue you look at Van de Ven, how quickly he distributes the ball out from the back, right? It's one touch played forward. You look at Romero, he's taken three, four touches, slowing it down. Porro sometimes is so free over that side. Yeah. He hasn't even looked over and he just gives it straight back to Mickey van de Ven. Now, maybe that's because we prefer going down the left-hand side. But this is what I'm talking about, about variations of play, mixing it up, you know? You shouldn't... You know, a manager gives you instructions, but you should have you should have some thought outside of that to go. Okay, this time it's not going to work. I'm going to play it this side, but it doesn't happen. I think the two ball, I think the ball is way too slow coming out from Romero for us to really have a full effect down that right hand side. Personally, absolutely well said. Uh, the outlad has just joined though, Dave, and he says, "Calm down, Dave. We're going to score in the last 15 minutes. Come on, you Spurs." I'd say he's been well calm actually for this uh, first half. In fact. He even uh, seems to be telling everybody else that, you know, this is sort of what I had envisioned, you know, going this game. I know you went for kind of a bigger scoreline, but for the most part, I think you expected Spurs to control this game and uh, in a sense mm -hmm. be probably the aggressors in that first half. And for the most part, I'd say we have lived up to that sort of expectation. Mm -hmm. Just want to take advantage of it uh, here, yeah, uh, Mr. Harris. Man. Big up, man. The Big D says, tough half matters looks poor. P uh, Hoiberg for Sar. Come on, you Spurs. Absolutely right. I think we've talked about matters there. The Big D, absolutely in agreement there with you. Uh, Hoiberg, though, Dave, would you consider him as an impact sub at any stage? Yeah, look, we, I think we know what, what Hoiberg's role is now. You know, he sort of comes on last 10 minutes, doesn't he? Um, or worst case scenario when, like, someone's just playing terribly and he just yeah. comes on to set the standard, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Look, I think Ben Decor will be first one off the bench, Big D, then Hoiberg, I think, after that, if it if, if it's needed. But I think Ben Decor will be the first one off the bench. Look, I can understand his reasoning behind it. Hoiberg is a better player as an impact, so he's got more time and space on the ball and stuff yeah. because, you know, players aren't as fresh and stuff like that. But um, When we see Hoiberg look, come I on at halftime, it's been more like when we've just been really frustrated with the number six and then Ange has as well clearly and he just brings on Hoiberg because he just knows Hoiberg's going to do the bare you know the standard like he's not going to mm. blow your mind or anything but he's also going to do what Postacoglu is asking and mm. I'd say Basuma people can disagree but I'd say Basuma has done for the most part what Ange really needs in that number six role today he's been fine today I wouldn't say that Hoiberg would need to come in for that and then as a number eight you'd, like Dave said I think it's probably more Benton core that maybe comes in in that number eight position instead mm. there. Big up the big D. And big then up. Fazzy Radfire says, if we get uh, the f uh, if we get the first goal, I think he says, um, Villa will uh, open up. Come on, you Spurs. Oh, we'll murder them if we get the first goal. That's what everyone's waiting on. I think everyone, I think a lot of people feel like me. Look, they played in Europe during the week, you know, dude. At some stage, they're going to give it their all and throw everybody forward, but they're not going to be able to do it for a full 45 minutes because they also have to conserve energy for next Thursday because the game's still in the balance. And um, for me, it's just about us ramping up a little bit. Uh, to be uh, to be brutally honest, once we score the first goal, I think we'll score more goals. Look, Villa are a lot more open than what I expected what they would be. I actually think it's a bit naive for Moon I Emery. Personally, Aston Villa don't have to go and win this game. A point would be a good result for them. Um, so look, it, 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 like I said, uh, you know, at the start of half time, there's three points here for us today. Are we going to take them or are we going to leave them here? Yeah, absolutely. And we're about to get kicked off here, everybody. So feel free to sync up with us. Of course, like I said earlier. Always just like delay, but you know, the fact that we're putting out this live for everybody, but huge half for Spurs here. Come on now. Huge. I think we can, uh, if we just replicate what we did in the first half, but just take more shots, take advantage of the space that we find ourselves in. I think we can win this. Come on now, lads. And then also, yeah. last but not least, big up to you, Fazzy Radfar. Let's get that 3-1 scoreline today, my man. <laughs> and then Orox Beat says, perfect game for Eze. Need to buy quality to rotate in. Yeah. I mean, it'd be no, great to have uh, another star winger in this game. It, it would be yeah. Orox beats. I mean, really anybody. Nico Williams, we've been linked with today too, which is a great sign. Well, that's the villain behind here. Cuts inside as a shot. It's well blocked Oof. by Mickey Van de Ven. Look, I, th I think that's what most fans want. I think the reason why people like someone like an Eze is because every time he gets on the ball, he looks to make something happen. He very rarely plays safe. You know, and I think that's what people like, the risk take. 
You know, and I think that's what we're missing. I, 100%. When you, as soon as someone gets the ball, I want to see them get turned run at them. It's what we paid them for. Mm -hmm. It's nothing worse seeing an attacking player get on the ball and move it five yards backwards or back inside, yeah. you know, because they're giving it to players. They're giving it to players. The same players that they're giving it to are looking at them and going, I'm giving it to you because that's what you're supposed to do. Why are you giving it back to me? That's my job, you know? That's why, that's why I think people like the likes of Aneto and Eze because they're so direct. Yeah. Oh, here we go, Madison. Good, Good ball turn. to Sonny. You've got Johnson outside you. Oh, Sonny, man. Oh, my God. He's had two Ooh, of those for today. Johnson. He's had two of those where he could have played him in today. Oh, oh that should have been played that way too early as well. That. He's That's with... shocking by Son. That's absolutely appalling by Son. If that was Richardson, people would be going absolutely batshit crazy. Oh, no. Leon Bailey. Bailey. Behind. Oh, my Lord. Great block. Offsides, though. Son needs to wake the fuck up. I'm sorry. And I'm just putting it out there. But if Richardson was putting in a performance Sunday today, he'd be ridiculed at halftime. Absolutely ridiculed. He's been way off it, Sonny. He needs to wake up. He, How are we not getting a shot off on goal there from that situation when it's three on three? Yeah, we really need to. We it's need to be able to take, a, need to take advantage of that. You have to get a shot off there. You're absolutely right. Players that are so much better than what they're showing today. And now Van der Ven's down. Oh, Fuck. Hopefully That's he just needs good. a bit of magic spray, Jack. Oh, Dragerson's getting warmed up. That's not good. No, that means Van der Ven must have been carrying something co coming into this game. If they're just making it like that, he had to have been carrying something coming into this game. Well, Dragerson's coming in now, everyone. He's getting stripped straight away. Yeah, Van der Ven's Fuck done. Me. Is that his hamstring? Yeah. Something again with his hamstring. Fuck. He knows himself. He looks so bloody angry. You can hear the Spurs fans cheering for him, though. It's not good, though. He's been terrific today. He's, He's been... the whole reason why we get away with the high line. It's the whole reason we get away with it. He's also just bullied Watkins and so many other players on so many occasions. Another terrific block there. Surprised that's what is exas if that's exacerbated. Well, he's walking off fine. It's good to see that he's walking off. No, oh, man, they might be making a substitution. It's got to be his hamstring or something, then it has to be. Maybe uh, they don't want to yeah, risk. Yeah, it's got to be his hamstring. It has to be. It's it's not oh, good. Really not good. People saying his hammy's gone again. I'd well, say, though, it's it's an okay sign, though, right, that he's walking off like that. Like, he was walking briskly off. So you'd like to think that it's not the longest term of injuries with that. Mm, mm. But, uh, did he walk is, off the last time? Uh, it's hard to remember. I don't think he did. I don't think he did, actually. I think he had to be helped off, didn't he, actually? I think he had to be carried by two physios or something like that. Oh, Hulu, great, no, well done. Hulu. And Nassar oh, oh, gets Nassar. deflected. He's just took a deflection. It's all right. Sar's got it, though. He picks it up. He's got Johnson back post. It's a good ball. Ah! Oh, my <laughs> Come on, great ball into Come Madison. On, what a, delivery. What a Ooh, ball from absolutely Sar. brilliant. Come on. Oh, that's how you do it, Jamesy boy. Show <laughs> it up. Oh, listen <laughs> Madison. Madison. Come on. Oh, <laughs> The dark celebration to match. Oh, my Great play Lord. by Kulu. Great play he from Kulu here. just absolutely his man here. Play. A straight one to a Coral. Oh, Perfect ball to pop him out of Sar. He's onside, no doubt about it. Takes a deflection. Sar does not give up. Marauding like the freight train. Puts in a lovely ball off balance as well for the on-Russian Madison. It's a beautiful delivery. It's in right on top of the six-yard box. And if Madison missed, I mean, he should give up football. What a ball by Sar. <laughs> it's a great finish by Madison, though. But surely you can't miss from there. One goal to the good. Come on, Jack. Come Jacko. on. Oh, that's a huge goal. That's a huge goal. <laughs> oh, he has to be on. What a ball. Papa Daddy Sar. He is phenomenal. He has to be well on. Of course they're checking it, though, because it's Spurs, and he's, he's six waiting. yards onside. He's six yards onside, and they still fucking check it. Why do you even, you, oh my God, you don't even need to check that. That's embarrassing. It's actually embarrassing for VAR referees that this is being checked. There's nowhere near he's offside. Come he's on. Come, Come on, on. Come on. One nil. All we need is another three. 
Oh, my score prediction comes true. <laughs> I mean, what a ball by Sar. You just can't miss that. If you're running onto that pitch, you just can't miss it. What a ball. And you know what? Me and Kate were actually having a discussion on We Are Cotton TV about how much cre little credit Sar gets for how good he is on the ball. No, it's very true. Two players, though, that were kind of missing in that first half, though, right? Ah, Dragusin. Two players missing in that first half that just showed up there for that goal. So that's what's terrific. Yeah. And Kulusevsky as well, probably missing in that first half. Great yeah. moment from Kulu. Shot on goal from Luis. Don't like to see Bottom. that. Sir! Big up, oh. Martin Knightsbridge. Dragon versus Cash. Get the popcorn out, lads. The Dragon. Ah. Maybe he's the punisher. He's going to be punishing oh. the Cash tonight. Oh, great ball. Inu Doji. Great hold up play from Sonny. See, oh, Doji, play somebody, man. It's all right. Oh, well done. Sonny. Oh, oh the Doji. Oh. Oh. He just wasn't expecting it to come true. Oh, my Heavy Lord. Touch. Silky. That was so silky. Oh. That was, that was, I didn't even see that coming from Sun. Oh, oh. silky football from Spurs there. Man, Doji. Knightsbridge, if we get another one, I might, I might allow our players to get a bit reckless and turn it into a WWE Super Slam or something like that, lad. Oh, well done, Udoji there. Big up, Martin. Big up, Kate as well. I see you in the chat. We did speak about how good Papi Sar was on the ball. Sar, Sar, Tori, Papa Matt, Starboy. I mean, whatever superlative you want to use. The scholar is really what he is, Dave. He's going to be a future computer engineer, computer science whiz. That's what he's going to be. Sar the uh, scholar. Oh, Kulu! Oh, well done! Get, Come on! Get, please! Johnson! You someone! Johnson! Johnson! Get him! Come on! Two nil. Game over. Three points in the bye. Come on! Come on, baby. Unai Emery. So he picks it up. Makes the right decision this time. Oh, Let's he's going to be breathing out the mouth, Mister Emery. He's going to be breathing out that mouth very hard. The flies are flying in. Johnson, oh, very Villa deserved goal. Next sponsorships. They're crying Very like deserved crazy. goal from Madison. There. Very deserved. If Una Emery keeps crying like that, there'll be flood warnings to probably get the game cancelled. Cry more. Great Paul Bakulu again. Absolutely sensational. Picks the pocket. Sonny plays Johnson. And he oh, buries great it. great finish. He's even slightly behind him, like I'd say. professional jackal. Slightly even behind him. It's not even the greatest pass yeah. from Sonny. And he buries it. Come on, Johnson, dude. man. Great finish. Great finish. Oh, oh love to see that. Great finish for the kid. Absolute great finish. He took it like a seasoned professional. 2-0. Champions League football. Here we come. You also are not did. starting a new Champions League without Tottenham oh, Hotspur. It ain't oh. happening. Hey, this has been our story, though, this season, though, right? Where It's in sort of true Spurs fashion where we actually score straight away after halftime. And then also, yeah. we score usually kind of back-to-back -back goals very often, it feels like. The moment we score one, we do end up scoring another one kind of quickly afterwards where yeah. we, we catch a team really with two punches straight in a row. And they're shell-shocked, this team. They have to be. Sorry, Jack, but I've been here in Villa at this great side. They're shit. <laughs> well, this is what like I said, Dave. The two teams, I'd say the two unconvincibles. This is what um, <laughs> the two teams have been this season. They have been very unconvincing. Uh, Spurs have been unconvincing this season at times. <laughs> and Villa, I'd say, have been unconvincing at times. But then also, they have blown away plenty of teams. It's been a weird oh. one. And uh, Spurs, this game, it was about who shows up. It was about who could be the more convincing. And uh, that's been us today. Huge, huge one. Huge. Oh, it was just, do you know what? We... We do have some, like, Blitzkrieg moments. One after another. Bam, bam, quick fire. It's brilliant. And also, uh, Lazy8, good to see you, sir. He was saying, what a ball from Sar earlier. It really was, man. Yeah. A terrific ball. Oh, it's beautiful. Sar. I mean, Nick, he's probably that good. If we sat in the stands for North London Derby and asked us to ask him to deliver one to us in the North Stand, he probably will. Straight to your head. And then Fazzy. Oh, here. Oh, here we go. Oh, no ref, ref, please. Oh, he's Christ. babysitting them. He's babysitting them. And then Fazzy <laughs> Radfar. Fazzy Radfar, you're right. Villa will now also have to open up. 2 0 down. They're going to have to open up. More yeah. chances for us to turn the ball over, like you had from earlier. Great super trap from earlier. And then uh, Maybe Martin my Knightsbridge. Score prediction isn't, isn't that deluded, Jack. And Martin Knightsbridge, now with the dragon on, you'd hope to think that he can come on with a bit less pressure. You know, he's not as worried about keeping a clean sheet and. Um, uh, seeing out, you know, a nil-nil or something like that. You know, he's got some cushion now, the dragon. He's got some cushion. 
And everyone mourning about Kulu. Do it more often. Look at the answer he's done. You know, brilliant by Kulu twice for both goals. Absolutely influential. And he's done exactly what we've been talking about. Just being physical with them. Brilliant by Kulu. Let's, who do we want to score? Just start criticising them. Well done, oh, Dragon. Dragon. Jeez, he's got to be a piss about him, you know. I mean, he definitely is not slow. He never was going to be. Can't be oh, slow. And he the pass. Well done, That's Dragon. Left footed as well. Best man bun in the business. Easily. I wonder what shampoo he uses. He's definitely looking for uh, for uh, um, Joe Hart's. Um, you see that his. Um, I find it hilarious that his brother always. looks the exact same with him. Like, look, yeah. <laughs> he dresses the exact yeah. same. Yeah. I think that's really funny. That's what Dragerson should do. Take a day off. Send his brother in. It must be hard for his mother to have been given birth to two dragons, you know, as well. That's yeah, sorry, he's got girlfriends. So hopefully, it's they don't not get easy. Mixed up. Um, <laughs> um, that pub or that cafe where his brother works or owns, you know, he must be going crazy right now as well. Now that he's come on uh, as well. Big up to all the Romanian <laughs> fans. Oh, I love and life. Big up, Ribsy. ribsy has gone full delusional. The Woo! game's taken over him. Jack has gifted out five memberships. He's absolutely buzzing. Big up, Ribsy. Come you on, legend, my man. Ribsy. Uh, big Red Machine. Not sure about the red in the name. That might have to change. We need to change that to Big Blue Machine. Uh, we've got Potato Stew, which I absolutely love yeah, stew. Big so you're making potato. me hungry. Daniel Harris, no relation, but good to see you in the building. And he's got one. Along with the Reptile Keeper. Mm, okay, some interesting names here. And the Spurs bench as well. So, guys, make sure Big you up. thank Ribsy for that. Big up, Ribsy. You absolute legend, Ribsy. Been with us forever. Like I said, one of the furniture. Been here longer than even I've been here, if I'm not mistaken. So, really yeah. appreciate you, Ribsy. Hopefully, this... Uh, I'm not sure if you had to wake up at crazy o'clock for this game, Ribsy. But, well worth it. Huge game for Spurs. And uh, also, I'd say still, with this referee, we've been playing against... Feels like not even 12 men, 13 men yeah. with this referee. So I'd say Spurs, once again, rising above it. Big up, Ripsy. Really appreciate you. And also, nice to see Daniel Harris, Harris Harris Army member, getting that uh, getting that membership. Big up to you, Daniel Harris. He's always acknowledged. Every time I see him in the chat, he's always saying fellow Harris. Fifth Element says, Dave, see patience. Look, one thing you know about me, Fifth Element, I have patience for Ange Postacoglu and his project and stuff. But um, I do have oh. very little patience. I won't lie. I'm not even going to sit here and pretend I try to do. I just don't. Well done, Dragon. <laughs> Great well done, Dragon. Before. Showing that oh, pit. He is pitch. massive. <laughs> he's huge, Jack. He's <laughs> he huge. is like, he's bigger than Van de Ven, which is sort of he funny. He could get a job as James in James and the Giant Beanstalk. Yeah. He could be the Beanstalk. He could have been in Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah you could imagine him like a viking couldn't you yeah you could have played any of the characters in game of thrones really all we've got to do now is just keep possession and wear villa out here we go we're gonna score here oh yes sonny i'll see kulu now yes he does oh, oh kulu oh. just not there great just ball overhit. it's a great ball that's no. twice now it's just been over hit for him on the back post i'd say kulu just gotta to be faster daddy sar Pedro. Oozing of confidence. It's absolutely spewing out of them. It's great to see. Some would say disgusting if they don't like Sar, you know, if they're rival fans, but it's great to see from a Tottenham fan. It's oozing into them. Madison, great ball to Sar. Sar oh, it off. silky. Oh, play Madison. Madison. Oh, play Johnson. Yeah, Johnson. Well done, Sar. Sar picks it up. Love that. <laughs> oh, he's he's oh ball now. roll. You dirty boy. Oh, here we go. We're balling now. This is Ange Ball at its full finest. Poro plays Kulu. Kulu Let's go, lads. Here's my Ron Bomber, Van de Vengo. Like Dominating. I feel it. It's coming. Oh, big Dragusa, maybe, Jack. Oh, uh, we could get a yeah, get dragon. big dragon. Pedro. Poro. No! Just over Johnson Kulu. says Kulu. What a touch. Cheeky boy. What a touch. We're absolutely dragon. balling out now. Throw him to the ground. football. Yes, Dragon. Well done, oh, Dragon. Oh, with the back flick. Oh, referee, he can't wait to pull out his yellow. It's embarrassing. Well done. Uh, yeah, probably unnecessary, the second part. Could have just turned his back. We'll take it. Jesus, that hair is tight to his head. He couldn't get it any tighter. <laughs> any man bone connoisseurs out there, rate, rate uh, Dragoosen's man bone out of 10 for us. 
Yeah, is it better than Bales? I'd say it is. <laughs> it's up there. I'm not going to lie. It's up there. Bales was always I'm a little... I'm not a fan of the Mambo, personally. Um, I'd say it's better than Bales. It's a little it. cleaner. Bales was always a little messy. Oh, I'll have to go into Jacob's chat and tell him that he's brother's playing. <laughs> Call Dragerson his brother. You have to see we if actually Jacob... have to get Jacob to do a man bun one day. You have, have to, to see if Jacob is still on the stream. Maybe it's him playing. <laughs> <laughs> He's all of a sudden Back left. The carry on. <laughs> now we're just saucing out. Villa look absolutely disinterested in going for this game. On to Dragusin. He's nice. been good since he's Matters. Great Lovely. Time. Great job, oh, Matters. Jackson. We're true here. Oh. Oh, I'm telling you, we're itching for a third and a fourth here. We're itching for it. Get me, get Werner on the dance floor on. He's going to give me one. I'm going to start moonwalking. <laughs> going to lose the run of myself here. This is a great well game done, of football. Man. Oh, well oh, done. oh, lovely <laughs> dragon. Twice there. The great dragon is breathing fire. Great concentration. Yep, you got to see well, those runs. Neon, Bailey. He's off. Puts it's it in behind off. the doors. He's, He's off. Off. Way well off. done, dragon. Ball. Holding up the line as well, dragon. Held the line there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually fire, keeping Jack, my man. eye on him. I'm really watching him individually at this moment. See, look what he does here. He holds the fire. line. He holds the line. Brilliant. Holds the line. Well done. I'm going to start calling him the fire breeder. He's brilliant. <laughs> Carry on. Oh, good long. ball. Oh, good oh, ball. ball. Sonny. Oh, my God. What a ball. Have a Sonny. hit. Oh, oh hit, sir. sir. He should have gone down, actually, Sonny, I think. Should have took the shot. Could have taken oh, a shot. Could have gone down. Basuma, great play. It's a pretty significant be shove. So far in the second half. The Pedro Pedro switching. Oh, he's got Johnson. Look at Johnson at the very back post there. Oh, his time will come. He's just got to be patient. Just hang there. He's, uh, he's already scored, actually. He's already scored. You know, he's had a terrific game. He's already scored. Don't get greedy, Johnson. Share the goals out. <laughs> Sir. Well done. Everybody's just gone. Oh, Everybody's Tred just looks so much more relaxed now on the ball as well. Everybody's so much more confident, so much more relaxed on the ball. Jack, when when you start not making people like Poro's doing consistently, it's oh. red panty night. Oh, honestly, it's red panty night. It's great football. Immortal Worm saying we still have to look at the reps' finances after this game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt his bank balance has been boosted by a couple of grand. Just, new, new dining table delivered from Easy Living next week. I don't know. I don't even know if you have to do that much these days, Immortal Worm. I think he just probably wanted a nice parking space, and that's what they gave him. <laughs> Johnson. Oh, you watch. He'll have a whole new kitchen in next week. Fitted from Country Kitchens. Sponsored by Aston Villa. Vicario. Good touch. Drew Lucin. It's a difficult oh, ball. To... Oh, yeah, no. it's not a great pass. It's all right. Fire breeder. Look at that. He's back already. Oh, no, he gets skinned. No. no. Well done. <laughs> well done, well done, well done everyone. Well done. Here we go, a doji. Right, let's go and get the third and proper kill this. Madison. Big dog. Oh, he's skinning them for sport. Oh, Sir! look at that. Fascination. Oh, that's it, Johnson. Kill him. Go on, Johnson. Start it on McGinn. That's it. Stick it up for the big dog. Oh, come on. That's it, McGinn. Go cry. Look at him. Look at Ange, though, getting in there. Oh, I love to see it. The bench is all pouring off the bench. It's all going to kick off here. It was waiting. Where's Matty Cash? Someone's dragged all them around by his hair, surely. Everybody's Referee's saying Everybody's saying it better be a red. I didn't. I, it looked like a nasty challenge. It looked like a nasty challenge. I didn't think red immediately. <laughs> oh, he's gone! Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey. Goodbye. Uh, John McGinn. John McGinn. Come on, he's gone. He's, oh, he's raging. You see nasty. that Conso as well. Conso saying mentality there. He's saying, got it. Oh, wow. Ooh. It's a nasty challenge. It's a nasty challenge. Well done for I love Udoji. The fact that Johnson went straight for him as well. And yeah, well done football. to Udoji. Udoji thought about going after him, but decided against it. Look at this. He's about to go after uh, him, decides against it. Decides against it. Well done to Udoji. Johnson going after him instead. Well done, Johnson, man. He's had a terrific. Uh, I actually. Honestly, I've fallen in love with Johnson just on this performance today because yeah, he scored. He's been, he's been so good in possession. The fact that he also kicked, uh, the fact that he kicked down McGinn after that, that's terrific, man. That's terrific. <laughs> uh, na, 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 na. 
No, no, no. Oh, three and four here, Jacko. It's there today. Yeah, get off the pitch, McGinn. What are you still doing on that? Go down there for an early bat. Pull out the dove and the scrubber and go and clean <laughs> yourself down and wait for your team to come out. Losers. Hurry up. Let's get on with this. It's Mother's Day. My mother's waiting on me. Doji. Oh, it's just it's rash. Just nasty. He hasn't yeah, even got nasty. Oh, Johnson ready to kill him. It's very nasty. Who's the other guy off the bench there? He was quick out there. Go on, Angie. <laughs> Pasta Coglu laughing in there at them. <laughs> I, that was that was that was, that was very dumb from uh, very dumb from. Jen. I actually rate you know McGinn as well. It was very dumb from him. He did lose his head. Uh, that was brilliant. very gave it's us brilliant. a huge break there. Gave us a huge break because also let's, Two let's super chats. yeah just yeah Go yeah on. let's get to this. I'll, I'll rant later. I'll rant later. Steve D says takes time to break down a well drilled side away from home dominating side and fourth. People are too quick to judge a performance. I mean, and he also to be honest, follows up with Ange out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh steve d you've heard me like i said a thousand times i've been fully behind Ange, as have you as have dave from the very beginning here it's just dave and i are selfish you know we thought of this as an excellent opportunity to really overachieve this season and we believe that Ange can overachieve i know this guy can overachieve uh off this first season and so far we might be able to do so after this game big up steve d but then dave up, he is right though right like i felt like Again, I was surprised to see some people saying we played terribly in that first half. I honestly, I mean, considering how we played of recent and recent first halves, Steve D was one of the best first halves we've had in a while. Like, really, yeah. genuinely. No, like, look, first half we were all right. It was just, you know, we, we, we didn't create enough. We didn't test Martinez enough. That was the, I think that was everyone's sort of frustration. But we were better in the first half than what we were against Palace last week, for sure. And even other teams sure. before that, I'd say, right? Like, it felt like it was a, just a much more clean start. It was like a clean start from Spurs where we took control once the game was just asking for somebody to step on the ball, kind of just control the tempo. Spurs were the team to do it. Yeah. And yeah. other players that I would not have expected to step up today really have today, Steve D. It's yeah. been really great to see. Basuma, you know, when, once Basuma's playing well in that number six and turning and getting the ball quickly, it really helps us, you know. It's the ticking heartbeat of the team. When the number six plays well, Spurs plays well. I think, uh, I think it coincides, well. Jack. I really do. Yeah. And even our best spell of the seasons have been when Basuma has been playing well. Yeah. Big up, Stevie D, man. Oh, it's beautiful, Adoji. Oh, really appreciate Sonny it. Sonny with a great fit around the corner. Madison, he's on, Johnson. He's on. He's got to be. Oh, fuck off. Tyler, he's got another stiffy again. lino has got another stiffy, Tyler. Dark Sun G, big up Dark Sun G, but you're absolutely buzzing right now, my man. He says McGinn is out for three games Great too, point. which ruins their top four hopes. Dark Sun Great G, just quickly, McGinn as well. It's just nice to see that guy you just sent, you know, packing because I'll be honest, I, I rate him because I think he is a good player, but the way he just throws that gigantic ass of his like into players all the time and just wins free kicks, you know, bodies, these, you know, players, he's just one of the most annoying players to watch, you know, at times, if he's not on your team, if you know what I mean. And uh, it's just nice to see uh, what is probably been their most consistent, one of their best players this season. Uh, yeah, missing for the next three games. And, and what I'd say was a much nastier challenge than you've seen Romero do this season. You've seen other yeah. Spurs players do this season. And yet you get the tagline with Romero that Romero's nasty, you know, all these sort of things, you know, over aggressive. I mean, Romero hasn't done that to anyone this season. Something like that, like in a moment like yeah. that. Hasn't done that at all. So something to consider too, Dark Sun G, when it comes to the narratives around certain players. And um, yeah, I completely agree, my man. Completely agree. Sorry. Sar's just come off from Bentecourt as well. Great performance in the second half from Papa Matt Sar. Uh, well done, Bentecourt has come on. But no, Dark Sun G, uh, that's absolutely crucial in their um, in their fight for top four. You know, he's he, he's he's again, he's one of their players taking heartbeats of the team. He's been around years, huge part of the dressing room. Him being out for three games could uh, come back in our favour, my man. Pick yourself up. Johnson's gone down. Looks like he's taking a bang. Great assist from Pat Matasar as well, right? He got an assist. Yeah. Uh, great performance. And uh, much better in, much better in the second half from him than I'd say he was in the first. 
I just can't get over that cross. I mean, I've been begging for our wingers to hit crosses like Love that. Love a good cross season. like that. Love a good cross like that. It's on the plate. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. Like, when you've got a player on and on like that, you know, you've got to put it ahead of him. You've got to put it on a plate for him. It's a hard thing to do. And the fact that he managed to put it right in on top of the six-yard box without the keeper being able to come for it because of the whip and the pace on it, it's an absolute fantastic ball. He makes it look easy, but it's not. It's a great ball. You can also hear the, the Spurs fans as well singing for Benton Core coming on as well, saying he's the yeah. reason. Saying he's the I reason. thought they were singing, we want more, we want more. <laughs> Um, Stevie D saying he is overachieving by a country mile indeed, Jack. Yeah, oh. absolutely. And that, that's why I said, Steve D, I mean, believe me, we can think in like the long term, but we can also be selfish, right? We can realize like there's a huge yeah. opportunity here. There's a huge opportunity here yeah. to overachieve and, and just done so today. And I, like, you could even look at it like as sort of a, a win-win oh. where like the fact that Spurs even get to play in these sort of games with this much <laughs> meaning behind it is a great <laughs> feeling, but it's, it feels great, Steve D. It feels yeah. great to be overachieving. It really does. It feels great to overachieve. Look, no one gave us a chance at top four this season. Absolutely nobody, you know. But here we are. We're battling away for it. Brilliant. I do want to see three and four, though. I really do. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. What statement that would be to send out to the rest of Premier League, though? Rum bomb. All the way back to Vic. I have to say, we've absolutely controlled possession since... Prince well, it, well, their job is so much harder now, though, right? Like, the fact that it, they already were really struggling to win the ball back when they had 11 men. They were really struggling to win the ball back and get on the ball with 11 guys on the pitch. Now that they have 10, it's going to be even harder. So, But you know what? One of the biggest criticisms this season, though, Jack, has been game management. This is game management right here. Very, very... Oh, Dragon! Oh. Oh, it's oh, just over here. Try. I like the idea, though. I like He's the looking vision. fine. Like He's looking all right on the ball. He's not looking as clumsy as what people He's made him out right, to be. You know. He's done all right. He's done a lot better than what I thought he would. And he actually came into the game no warm-up at all, from what I could see. It looked like he kind of just had to be thrown in cold, kind of straight in. George well done, Bentancourt. Bentancourt turns it over here. Kulusevsky. Son. Oh, Kulu, man. Why don't you shoot ever? Just shoot, man. Just shoot. Jeez. <coughs> Just shoot. Uh, but also, Dark Sun G says, come on, you Spurs. It's great to see Dragon coming on and not Dyer or Sanchez. Yes. That is a yeah. huge relief. I'll, it's yeah. cool, Dark Sun G, because we're actually excited, right? As much as we're nervous when Dragon came on, right? In that moment of the game, we are nervous because we're losing Mickey Van De Ven, who's, I mean, cut from the divine. He's practically, you know, he's, he's, he's a god of a defender. But we are actually excited about Dragon, whereas with Dyer and Sanchez, like, we're yeah. not excited, we're only nervous, yeah. and nervous is probably putting it lightly. Like, we're pretty much, you know, already, you know, giving up, you know, when those guys come on into the game. Like, it felt like Jack? when they came into games, we could sort of just kiss our mm. chance of a, of a result goodbye, it felt like. Do you know what? You're absolutely spot on, right? And that's the biggest thing, right? It's a complete, it's a, it's a complete different feeling when these guys come on. You know, you're not sitting there... You know, fearful, worrying. But I'd also add, we're not we're not sitting back, are we? We're not dropping deeper and deeper like used that that used to happen an awful lot, you know? Which is yeah. good. It's very good. You're absolutely spot on. And you know, if us fans are feeling like that, you can guarantee the flip the players that feel like that with Dragerson coming on rather than a dire and that, you know? Yeah. Absolutely spot on. That's a crucial point you made there, Jacko. Villa coming down Tottenham's left. Ah, oh, great backer. He's Let's been excellent. Up. He's going in my man the match. He's yeah, going him in there. And, him and Johnson easily. Him, Johnson, Kulu, and then I'm torn between Adoji and... Oh, would, you give it, would you give it to Mickey Van Devan, though, though, even yeah, though he Kulu. got injured? Would you give it to Mickey Van Devan, even if he got injured? He was I terrific. nearly would. Kulu yeah. cuts inside. Fine, Sonny. No, he doesn't have a shot. Unlucky. Son's going ballistic. Um, Kulu this summer, man, needs to, like, go to some sort of... Shooting. Yeah, it just needs to go to some sort of, I don't know, like I'm trying to think of like maybe R and Robin or something needs to like hire R and Robin and like teach him how to like, you know, go back to hitting curlers because yeah. R and Robin, right? Such a one footed player, but that guy could finish and that guy yeah. could put in some absolute benders. But I don't know, like something about Kulu, man. He's just, I think he's got, he's almost got the yips 
But really saying well. that, though, he's, had, he's been involved heavily in the two goals. He's so creative. He, may- he has no problem creating. He's just, it feels like he has, he has the yips when it comes to creating or when it comes to shooting. Oh my God. Don't tell me. Dragons like it was, out. oh, like don't it was, it was, out. it was, it was Kulu that, that won the, uh, I think, was it, was it Kulu that won the ball for the second goal? And he also won the ball and played a one, two and was the one that played Papa Matasar true for the first goal. Despite what people say about me, you know, he's, he's had an involvement in both goals today heavily. I uh, just he took that. But right I do into... agree with you. I do think he needs to work on that end product. It's nowhere near what it was earlier on uh, when when he first lined for us in that first season. He needs to become a lot more devastating. Like when he makes that cut inside, when you see Mo Salah do that, you know what he's going to do. He's going to look to have a shot. You know, cut inside, quick shot. Kulu, he just doesn't have that about him, and he needs to learn to get that. I think. I think you are right there. But at the same time, let's not forget he has had massive oh, he's involvement terrific. in the two goals. He is terrific. It's just. Those sort of oh, moments, no, like those sort of moments, I think are kind of yeah. Like no, you, really, you, you. got to figure that out. Yeah. Here we go. He's charging again, sir. Train, baby. The strength. Here we go. Go on, cool. go on, the cool. strength, go on, the strength he has. The strength he has. Oh, oh, too much, too much for him. Just ran out of breath there when he cut it back. Dragon Ball, everybody's saying. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. That's a that's a program, isn't it? He got hit in the Dragon Balls earlier. <laughs> oh, do you know what? My score there might not be correct today, but one thing I did say to people, I had a feeling we're putting our best performance in the season, and I'd say we have. I believe, um, Dark Sun G, I know you wanted Matters to score, and I believe you wanted Johnson to score, if I'm not mistaken. Did, did actually I believe it. you wanted those two to score. It's just Sonny that's uh, missing now. Can Sonny bag the third? Moondog was in earlier as well. He wants uh, Werner to get to, to grab one today. Yeah. Might not even be the worst idea actually to bring on Werner now, just more pace and behind just to yeah. catch them out. Yeah. And you know what? I'd probably take off Sonny for him, you know, and give Werner yeah, a chance. Yeah, that's not even a bad idea. You could place Kulu through the middle. Yeah, oh, Basuma again, another great Wow, outlaw. great Johnson play from Johnson crazy. as well. Madison. Great play from Basuma. Out to Sonny. Basuma Sonny, and Johnson, man of matches Burnham. for me. Basuma and huh? Johnson. I say Basuma and Johnson yeah. easily. Clear, I mean, take your pick, Kendrick those two in. guys. Those two guys have won us this game, Basuma and Johnson. Do you know what? Basuma's been absolutely fantastic today in possession. Johnson's been great all day as well. I just, I've been very impressed with both of them, actually. Very impressed today. Basuma's has just been so tidy in midfield all game. Yeah, just uh, those two passes that, that both pass. of them completed right there. Even those two passes, both of them completed, is yeah. the exact tempo and the speed in which they played it is what yeah. Ange is also looking for. Yeah, they they've been wired in today. Mm. King Hoddle saying Udoji's had a great game. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, I think he's been brilliant. He's always great though. We probably are you know a little too privileged. He probably gets overlooked because he's yeah. so consistent. We're probably too used to him. Too used to him. He's always good. He's always good. Madison onto Johnson. Tottenham just looking to kill the ball and maybe exploit that high line where they can. It's a great ball by Madison, though. Oh, Bentecourt, that's poor. I feel they're trying to play out from the back here with Tottenham putting them under pressure. Kulu tries to steal the ball. Oh, it's a good run out by the Villa player. Oh, great oh, tackle great from Romero. Romero. He great assassinates tackle. <laughs> And he takes the ball as well. Come on. See Johnson. Spurs, there's four back there, five of ye. There you go, Kulu. Kulu's on here. Kulu's on here. Take your time. That Picks out Sonny. Johnson. Uh, oh, Johnson. Sorry, yeah. They're both wearing yellow boots. I'm getting confused. Bentoncourt. Great pressure. <laughs> Good ball by Kulu there, actually. It was a great delivery. Basuma knocks a header. Well done, Dragon. Cool as you like by Romero. He tried to catch him there. They tried have to catch bullied Romero Ollie there. Watkins today. They have bullied Ollie Watkins yeah. today, those two. Like, they have given him nothing for the most part. You know, Every you're, time. You know you're dominating a game when Basuma's just walking around now <laughs> i was asked though i was asked on the cheese room you know how do you stop watkins and i said well he is going to run him behind and i don't know what you can really do about that you know like you yeah. not you can't really stop that but his hold up play 
I'd say his hold up play isn't the best. Like it's good, but it's not the best. And uh, I think we've done that today where oh, anytime it's been ball defeat, anytime it's been ball defeat, we just bullied him. Great Johnson. Play here by Basuma to Johnson. Johnson cuts it back. I thought he was going to run at him there. What a ball by Basuma though, straight. Do you know what? Yeah. That's what we were talking about at half time. You know what? De Bruyne does get the ball, drop it over the fullback's head, straight onto the player's feet. Al Ben with a super chat saying, not that creative, but our overall game was nullifying them. I'd say we've been pretty creative for the most part. It's just that I probably, I mean, I, the latter part that you bring up. Oh, 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 Sonny! Sonny! Oh, oh, great. The, that last part you bring up there, Al Ben, is totally right. Whether you want to agree or disagree over how creative we've been, they've been completely nullified. Aston Villa today. They have yeah. the only chances they've even had have been from set pieces that we've probably given them from you know fouls and free kicks and then also just kind of lapses of concentration you know loose touches some bad passes here and there that have led to some breaks but they have really not done anything at all to create much of them for themselves mm -hmm. you know like we have in this game so i'd also clear. argue that villa's last ditch defending has been okay as well today actually play him kulu jeez play him how is he not playing? Oh, he spins him play matters Play somebody. Too slow on the ball. How are you going backwards it. there? Why are you going backwards there? Play yeah. somebody, man. He's got Don't Sonny. Come kill. killers. Uh, he's got to take Sonny off. Sonny looks gassed as well. Yeah. He looked gassed after that. I'd be pissed, too. I don't know how he didn't play him in behind there. I don't know why he didn't play him in behind. great defending there a minute ago on Son as well. Son done everything right. Used his body to shield him off. It's just a great tackle. Madison. Four players aren't even making runs in behind anymore. They're just waiting for the game to be over. Dragerson out to Romero. Rombom. Into Basuma. Bentoncourt back to Basuma. On to Madison. Madison, good ball into Bentoncourt. Bentoncourt tries to go around the corner. No one running in behind. Back to Martinez. Get Werner on. Even get Dane Scarlett on as well. Give him a few minutes. Yeah, Why give, not? I'm I'd generous give Dane, today. I'd give Dane some minutes. That's the Villa trying to go in behind. I think it's better just to have players with energy on the pitch. Yeah. It's a good ball across. Romero snuffs it out. Easy defending. 83 minutes on the clock here. Come on. Delighted to get this one in today. Delighted to get the three points here today. Huge. Everybody wants Timo to come on. Ah, oh, yeah, why not? Get him on, let him score. Nice. Good, Another good corner. Defending again there. I don't Very Defensive professional so good. far from Spurs. Just need to see out the rest of these seven minutes here. Say once mm -hmm. you get to extra time. Or, sorry, once you get to added time, then should be fine. Hmm. Just don't concede. Yeah, you're a spot on, Jacko. Can't concede here. Oh! And of course, carry you know, on! Commentator, again. Commentator's curse. Of course, we nearly do. <laughs> That's so brave by the carry over there to come out at his feet. And he's milking it. Love it. He does well there to come out and smother that. Ah, oh, it's brave goalkeeping. God, he's, such a, he's such a tank. Such brave goalkeeper by the carry -all. I know, like, I know Vicario still has stuff to work on when it comes to sort of him from set pieces. He's a phenomenal goalkeeper. But let's not say that, let's not act like Lloris was great from set pieces either. <laughs> like, I don't remember Lloris being the most dominating of his area. Like, Lloris had felt like a lot of times he would be inside his own goal. <laughs> like, yeah. when, when he'd, he'd, be behind making, the line. he'd be behind the line making a save, when it didn't even matter. Um, and I know Vicario, that's probably his one weakness, has been set pieces and just the way he handles them. Yeah. But let's be honest, I'd still say he's not that... I mean, Hugo is probably just as shaky, if, not, if, I, if I remember correctly. Like, Hugo was yeah. never that dominating of, of set pieces. Here we go, Sosberg and Werner. Even Sosberg's getting a run out. 50 yard pinger from him, I can see it. Cods is coming off for Aston Villa. Who's going to come off for Spurs? Who's going to make way? Steve D with a super chat says, Just a girl who loves Spurs. Let's get that link in there. Just a girl who loves Spurs. Big up, Kate. Oh. Big up, Jimbo. I was going to say, I didn't know. I, I don't know what he was doing there, Steve D. 
Well, he's he's probably also as happy as a little girl today, you know, with the with the win. You know, he's feeling like, you know, just a girl who left Spurs. Uh, Pick up. Promoting. Big up, Steve D. Absolute legend. Jesus Christ, ref, when you get on with it. She's delaying the inevitable. Feels like we've been having set pieces for the last 10 minutes. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> this one's going straight on the carrier. Look at the bodies got around them. Oh, it's good clearance. Well done. Get out, Vic. Get out, Vic. Vic! Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I don't know why oh, he was hesitating. God. I don't know why he was hesitating. Who got that one clear? Johnson. Well done. Or was it Madison? One or two. That was, that Jason, was very awkward. He, if a basketball coach seen what he done there, he'd be screaming at him. <laughs> that, was, that was a little sketch. Well done, Even the way he man. came out there. I'm, what happened to the good one, old one knee right up in the air, you know, as a bit of protection? Yeah, right. That's a very good point. Sir. Here we go. Not a, thank God. Right? They really hate Udoji. Actually, I'm quite surprised they even gave a red, considering it was on Udoji. They they absolutely hate the guy, so yeah. you'd think they would get if given a yellow card. Um, Anthony Temporal, big up Anthony, uh, says, a absolutely buzzing, boys. Let's get this over the line now. Scoreline reflects the game, in my opinion. Completely agree, Anthony. I think it's been a very yeah. professional performance from Spurs today. I mean, we haven't completely blown them away but for the most part like we've been the you better been team vulnerable. we've been the better team this game i think we've shown a lot of uh solidity or what is it rigidity or whatever the right word is you know mm -hmm. with when it comes to uh you know keeping you know kind of safe when it comes to our defense any scary moments we have defended well but mm -hmm. in possession we've been tidy you know we've uh re retained possession really well we've also still created good chances we've worked really hard off of the ball i think the pressing has been great today it's just a professional performance from spurs not like a deserved four nil five nil type of thing but two nil absolutely well deserved well deserved mm. two nil mm. No, look, I, I absolutely agree with you, Jack. I think it's been a very professional performance. Look, I'd argue I think it's been our most complete performance of the season. You know, while, we haven't yeah. really been too vulnerable, you know, being caught on the attack and stuff like that. We've defended comfortable enough, you know. Look, I think if we if we if we wanted to, we could have went and put four or five by these today, you know. But we didn't, you know. We like, you know, in 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 times gone by, and Aston Villa even earlier on in the season, you know, teams have caught us late. We're just sort of, you know, keeping a hold of possession, seeing it out, like Jack said, a professional job, a bit of game management about it, you know. The most important thing is just get out here with the three points, and it looks like we're doing our best best to do that here. Great performance, most complete for me of the season. And he brings on Hoiberg again still. He loves Hoiberg. Yeah, uh, Hoiberg and Werner. I want to see Sauceberg pick up the ball, 150-yard ball straight over the top. Yeah, because Johnson, sometimes some of the space I've seen Johnson have, you know, in behind, I, if he could just pick that ball up and spray it over the I top just love of that it, back line. People go, Hoiberg can't pass, and then he just sprays it. Yeah, like he, can, he can really strike it. Oh, Pierre. Oh! <laughs> It's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, you've done it twice. Sorry. Oh, Pierre. You got front and back post. It's a poor Kudu. ball. Kudu. Oh, oh it's blocked. Pierre. And it's gone What play by Hoiberg. He takes two of them out oh. of the game. See no. you later. And Saucy. Outside the boot as well. It's oh. filthy. <laughs> what? Where is he? He does that, that one out of Zinedine. That was for you. Zinedine. What you doing, oh, Zinedine? Just can't buy a goal at the minute, Kenny. But big up, though. Um... Oh, my mouse has gone crazy. Why has it gone crazy? But uh, big up, Anthony. Really appreciate the support, brother. An absolute great point yeah. on that. And then Spot I believe on, Martin likes Bridges here as well. Breaking and he it. says, is there a fire break drill? Breaking news, fire drill at Villa Park. <laughs> is this a fire drill? <laughs> is this a fire drill? Uh, love uh, it. Love it. Job, Martin. Great job. Uh, yeah, I it mean, wouldn't surprise me to see a set of sprinklers go off somewhere to try and get abandoned. I believe um, some of them said this is the biggest game of the season. Oh. 
uh, for them. Or not biggest game of the season, biggest game of their club history in a long time. Sonny! Sonny! There you go, baby! There's the third. In your head! In your head! You know, he buried. come on, wow. Kate. Uh, if you're watching, gorgeous. if you're watching, Kate, I said, I said, Kate, come on. Oh, uh, Dark Sun G, you got all of your goal scorers, my man. You got all three, and he what buries a it what as well. By Kulu uh, and Poro again. Kulu's sunny. going in, man. The match, he's had massive involvement in all three goals today. He's going in. Great play, great play from Kulu. Great work there from Pedro and Kulu. He nutmegs the defender. Great ball by Kulu. Oh, I mean, you Great know he's, ball by Kulu. He's going in man the match. That's three. That's Basuma, Doji, and Kulu so far. And Johnson, that's four. Kulu's been sensational today. Oh, oh what a strike by Sonny. So devastating. Jack, we were saying after Close watching that last there. week. When there's a player at chance, who's, who's as cold as him? And I, no, I'd say, like, you'd almost, if you just took a still frame of that pass going into Sun, you could probably just close your eyes and you know what's going in the back of the net. Like, it's just, even the way he hit that Sonny, it's just so clean. And he doesn't even celebrate it like an absolute savage, <laughs> like, as well. You know, it's just because he does it for a living. He's a guy who scores these goals for a living. Um it's that's savage. Ah, oh, Salzburg. Great performance. Great performance. Chance if, chance if we want more can be heard ringing out. We want more. We want more. Come on, get me my fort. Got a super chat here from Steve D. I presume D stands for delicious. I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> Don't ruin a good day, Dave, with your Pierre and Hoiberg bias. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's hilarious, Steve D. Man, that's hilarious. Uh, he was so saucy, man. He was so saucy. He was so saucy. Uh, big up, Steve D. Look, not my high bar biased at all. Look, since he's come on, he's been brilliant. Skin two players, won the ball high up there a minute ago. He's been good since he's come on, lad. Look, I'm one of these. hoiberg has gone in the summer. I'm just not going to argue about it anymore. I'm not going to argue about a player that's leaving. I just don't think he's as bad as people make him out to be. He's been good yeah. since he's come on. Yeah, come on. Don't tell me you come didn't. On, Steve, don't, don't tell me a little. Yours. Don't tell me a little smile didn't come on when he pulled out those two moves. Don't tell me a little smile. Come on, it. Steve. Come on, Steve. Don't tell me you crack a little smile. Steve, we don't want any of your bias today. <laughs> <laughs> Think of Steve. Steve uh, Army. Steve Army. Steve Delicious. That's his new name. <laughs> Did you know I'm in a good mood when I call someone delicious? Dark Sun G Hattrick says now. Lazy 8. Indeed, a Dark Sun G Hattrick got all the goal scores correct. Uh, come on, there's one here for Werner. That would complete the set. Haven't played this well since Newcastle says drop your kick, uh, drop yeah. kick your teacher. It's been the most professional performance in a long time. It really has been. It's been months since I've seen a complete and professional performance like this. And even better, it's in probably the most important and crucial game of yeah. this season so far, too. I mean, not even including derbies or anything. Like, I know North London Derby, we had a great, terrific performance there. But still, like, this one is, like, regardless of rivalries, regardless of anything. It's just about, you know, can we try to make a push here for top four, get some points back, and uh, give Villa a scare? And we absolutely have given them a scare here. Now that we're only two points behind them, I mean, they're going to be very scared looking at us just behind them. Yeah. Sonny I now. Say that again. Oh, oh, Sonny burns him. Come In on, the Verner. It's four. It's four. It's Verner on the dance floor. I suppose I are in the groove. Timo is going to burn this god place down right now. Come on. <laughs> burn around the dance floor. And Spurs are in the groove. Oh, Timo, 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 Timo. <laughs> Your defense is terrified. Burners on, on fire. fire. Your defense is terrified. And burners on fire. Come Timo. on, 40. I've got it. I've got it. Come on. I've got it. Come on. Should have stuck a tenner on that today. I'll be a millionaire. Oh my God! Oh, what, what a finish! finish. He's oozing Great job from Sonny now after well. last week, Jacko. First time and all. That's just rude. Great job from Sonny. Great ball. Great oh, finish. Great, great finish. finish. Very good finish. <laughs> oh, Werner! Come on, we want more. We want five. We want five. Ah, uh, 
Finally, did Dermatron give us a 4-0? What did he give us? The one time we get a 4-0, you know, this is, <laughs> this is the one. This is the game. We finally get a 4-0. We finally get one. Incredible. Jack, you people are remember my score prediction on the members. I did say 4-0 at the best performance of the season. They're all saying, Dave, you're psychic today. Call for five. I did call for five. Can we get it? We're on the attack here. <coughs> Oh, uh, Jack, I should have stuck a tenner on it today. I, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> oh, Poro. Oh, ref, come on. Blow it up. That's a free kick. I had this down as a 3-2, Sue Smith. This has just been well beyond my expectations. I told you not to be nervous. Majestic performance, Actually, says King Hoddle. Majestic performance. Just a girl who left Spurs says Jimbo called the 4-0. Oh. Actually, um... Anyone seen John Fitzpatrick? John Fitzpatrick, I'm looking for you. You did say in the pre-match build-up earlier on, anyone that's predicting a 3-4-0 win today is delusional and doesn't know football. I did say to you, famous last words, my man. I did say. Porro. <laughs> uh... Saucy. Oh, it's balling out. Basuma's back healing and everything. Saucebergs Sir! playing one this is too much to handle. I'm going to have a heart attack. This is great. Basuma. Oh, it's oh, a 60-yard ball. It's, oh, it's over the head. Oh, lucky. Got too excited. Oh, uh, you can hear the Spurs fans as well. Oh, it's great. Sure, of course you can. Look at the Villa stands. They're absolutely empty. It's where they have something else with somewhere better to be. Michael from Poland, member for 22 months, is a fan show member. Big up, me. Michael. He says, I've, uh, I've had my mate stag do, finished drinking at 8 a.m. I have the worst hangover of my life, but Spurs came to the rescue and saved my day. I've been there before, uh, Michael, and what's nice is you're sort of just sitting there in like, you know, that sort of half-conscious sort of state, and you're just watching each goal go in, and, you know, sort of the headache just gets slightly better. You know, and uh, ease, you know, slightly easier as each goal goes in and uh, relieves oh. you. Because what's worse about a hangover is if Spurs lose on the day of a hangover, it makes it even worse. Doesn't ail it at all. But it's terrific, Michael. Big up to you, man. <laughs> and also, congratulations to your mate. I hope you had. Sounds like you had a terrific night. Sounds like you had plenty of fun. Um, and so, uh, yeah, my man. Hopefully, you're okay. And uh, remember, Advil, Tylenol, lots of water. Get yourself a good soup. I'd say, you know, that's usually my remedy. A nice bit, you know, like I go for a nice pho or a nice Ooh. ramen or something like that. But get some soup into you and uh, watch the highlights over and over and over again to, to make yourself feel good. Big up, Michael. Oh, look, Spurs 4-0, that's the perfect remedy, Michael. You know, suck it up, get out of bed and enjoy it, my man. We're winning 4-0. Come on, lad. <laughs> Come on, big, big up, Michael. Yeah, absolutely. By the way, Vyskovic, I believe, you know, he's uh, endearing himself with Radimik fans. I've seen the video circling online yet again, Michael. Big yourself up, sir. And now uh, Paul Connor saying, Dave, we back in the title race now. <laughs> uh, it's probably that. That's probably one for the Tron. Uh, that's probably one for the Tron if he were in here, Paul. But look, what I will say is City and Liverpool play each other after this. And there's still, you know, there's still big games to play. Arsenal still have to play them. You know, the they Aston Villa still have to play a lot of these teams and all. Look, we ain't going to win the league now. I think it's over. But, you know, could we surprise a few teams where we could be heading into some of them big fixtures? I think we could, you know. Like, look, next weekend, for instance, all the big teams are playing in the FA Cup bar Man City. So, you know, if we win at the weekend next week against Fulham, it puts, more, it puts us closer to Liverpool and Arsenal yet again. So, look... We're not going to win the league, but we're inside. We're going to finish top four, Paul. That's the main thing, my man. Champions League and the next season title challenge is coming. Big up, Paul. Always, but look, always believe. Until it's mathematically impossible, I'll never give up the hope. Absolute legend. Big up, Paul. Big up, Paul. You're absolute legend. Big and up, we Michael also have too. Steve D says, Team, um, Timo's hair. Timo's hair is better than Kane's. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, that's out I'd of order. Agree. That's a yellow. I'd agree. Taking please. your name in the book, Steve. I mean, we, talk, we talked you. about thinning hair. I wouldn't say that Harry Kane's has ever been thinning, but it has been receding. It's kind of two different problems. You can have receding hair, but you can also have thinning hair. And I'd say Kane's is on the on the receding end, sadly, uh, Stevie D. Timo's is looking fine. Got some good genes there, clearly, when it comes to the hair. And, um, yeah, I think he'll be okay when it comes to the long run in that hair department. And uh, I'd say, yeah, definitely better. Sauceberg! <laughs> Oh. oh, so Steve D, you're the first name in my book today, which is disappointing. And you're down for a blue card, my man. That's out of order. 
Although it's looking good, I have to give it to him. It's 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 all right. It's all right. It's not bad, Steve D. <laughs> and we also have Anthony Tedrell. Look what this has done to our goal difference. Big up, Anthony. We'll get to that in just one moment. 4 0, that puts us fifth now, 53 points, 11 points behind Arsenal with a game in hand. Win that, that puts us, what, eight points behind them. They still got some big games to come against uh, Liverpool and Man City, I believe. So, look, might catch Arsenal. Might catch Arsenal, Paul O'Connor. You never know. But no, in all fairness, great win today. 4 0 victory. Nobody saw it coming. Well, not everyone, Jack. I suppose I've seen it coming. I've been think, think Jimbo seen it coming as well. But look, the main thing is three points on the board. Champions League football should be coming to White Hart Lane next season, Jacko. Now, it's probably one of the best games of the season for us. I'm really happy about it because it's the most important game that we've had this season, probably other than the North London Derby. It was at a stage as well where, like, it's kind of like you can't really give up any more points. Like, you do just have to win these games. You can't really think that there's going to be a game down the road that you can make up for it. These are kind of the crunch time, the moments that you do have to show up. And we just absolutely destroyed them today. And um, in that second half, I think we just came out. We came alive. Probably they felt a bit lucky to maybe still keep it nil-nil. You get a little worried in those situations too, right? When you're kind of the team that was probably the better team in that first half. You know, then in the second half, do they start to wake up, you know, Aston Villa and come out as a better team, even if they tried to? I mean, Spurs just blew them away and just got into, like, felt like we weren't even in second gear in that first half. We just had some things we could have done a little better, but we then went from whatever gear that was into, like, you know, just hyperdrive and yeah. just blew them away. And once, sco once Spurs scored the first goal, I just say get ready for twos, threes, and fours because we really have yeah. that tendency to when we score that first goal, it's like just it's like down in the, you know the first beer. It's all of a sudden then you know three, four more you know just come flying by. It just it's yeah. very very funny with Spurs that I'd say look out when they score that goal because they will all of a sudden just unleash the floodgates on you. And we've done that today. A clean sheet. How long has it been since it's been a clean sheet? I can't games. remember. It's been forever. 17 games, Dave. Jeez, poor Vicario. Um, and he's been crack as per usual. What a day. I mean, we really, I love this season. It's been a great season. I love Pasta Cogli. I love this team. It just was a huge nervous game for me because it's just an opportunity to overachieve. And Spurs are overachieving yeah. with this win. Really huge win today. Best yeah. win of the season, if you ask me. And uh, I'm blown away by that because... I'll be honest, I've already been well satisfied with a lot of what I've seen from this season. And selfishly, I've been thinking about, yeah, can we really like, you know, could we actually finish in the top four, just shoot straight yeah. back into European football, even finishing high up in the Europa League spot still, yeah. I think would be well beyond what my expectations were. Yeah. And Spurs have done that today. It's really a great feeling. I'm glad you stay. I'm glad you stopped short of saying you love me. <laughs> I would have said that. That's gone mom. too far. Today. I love my mom. I love my dog. <laughs> but look, what I will say is, I think it's our best performance of the season by a country mile. Like you say, great to get back to keeping clean sheets. For me, keeping clean sheets is going to be key for us to get an inside top four. Vicario is probably having a nervous breakdown in the dressing room, which being that long, absolutely buzzing for him and that back line. That back line was absolutely outstanding and superb. In terms of the midfield, absolutely brilliant today. You know, combative, very good on the ball. A lot better on the ball than what they have been in recent times. I thought Basuma was absolutely outstanding today. Um, and I think when he plays well, it just makes the whole team tick. When he's positive on the ball and looks to get forward every time, so does everyone else. They almost sort of follow. Um, forward line... Frustrating in the first half, apart from Johnson, but really got it going in the second half. We were clinical with our chances today. A lot of people critical of Kulu at half time, I get it, but he had a heavy involvement in three of them goals there in that second half. Um, I'm just delighted to get over the line. I think many people are waiting for us to slip up today. Let's also not forget our kickoff was moved to an hour earlier, which has never been seen on a Sunday before to accommodate Liverpool and City because the Merseyside police wanted that game on an hour earlier, which is absolutely disgusting. In. But despite everything being stacked against us, we've got the result. Coming into this game, everyone was expecting it to be Tottenham, you know, throwing bodies around the place, tuning in, expecting it to be SummerSlam. That didn't happen. 
a great we seen our team mature today, Jack, showing a maturity. Yeah. You know, they could have easily got come in, got caught up in the emotions, start ragdolling players around the place. They didn't. The best the best revenge to get on Aston Villa is by beating them. And if yeah. you want to and, and doing it well, absolutely hockeying them. And we smashed them today. We were really comfortable. Very good performance. Gives me a lot of hope now going into the last stretch of the season. And long may this continue. Come on. Come on. Great win. Best win oh, of the season. In man a long of the time. match. I'm going to put up the poll now, everybody. So put it up there. Johnson and Basuma, for me, easily the best man of the match players, content, uh, candidates for me. Perhaps there's somebody I could be overlooking, overthinking. I know Doji was mentioned by King Hoddle. I could see that. I'm probably just been so privileged and spoiled by Doji that it's just, you know, what really stood out to me were two players that. I'd say have been inconsistent of recent and have probably been on the end of criticism from Dave and I of more recent, right? Basuma as well yeah. as uh, as Brendan yeah. Johnson. And for me, Dave and I, I think we try to be fair. You know, we're not always probably fair, but we try to be yeah. fair. And um, this yeah. was easily our two match contenders. I think Dave and I were just blown away. Uh, you know, each, I think we both are in agreement, blown away by those two and felt yeah. like we had won that game because Basuma, what he was doing in possession, doing out of possession today, when we play well, it's usually because the number six is playing well. And then Johnson yeah. was easily the best, I think, of the forwards today. He started bright, started sharp, worked much harder off of the ball than I've ever seen him work off of the ball. And then yeah. was sharp uh, going forward, created chances for others, created chances for himself. That one chance that he finally was given to Sonny wasn't even the best of balls, mm. I'll be honest. You know, in behind from his little mm. bit behind him, still finished it. Great play from Johnson. I'd say either of them as the man of the match, mm. I wouldn't disagree with you. Uh, per, perfectly so I've honest. got Johnson, Basuma, Kulazeski, Adoji. Now, I know some people might argue for Son. Um, he got one goal. I think there's, what, one assist? And another maybe. assist towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know... <sighs> Do you know what? It's going to be hard on a doji. I have to take him out and put Sonny in with one goal and a couple of assists. I don't think it was Sonny's greatest game by any stretch of the imagination, but he turned up in the clutch moment. So unfortunately, yeah. I'm going to have to take out a doji and put him in because I thought I think Bazuma deserves the recognition today. Absolutely, absolutely. Big up so to guys, Derrickson. Uh, yeah. up, get your votes in. Get your votes in, everybody. And if you are joining us, really do appreciate it. 580 in the house. Smash that like button, please, everybody. Do get your comments in. Celebrate this win with us. Everybody, we go through so many roller coasters with this team yeah. throughout the whole season, especially if you do tune in to a lot of these watch longs. We go through plenty of roller coasters on this channel. So we do appreciate you guys. And this is one of the better days for sure. Mm -hmm. Dark Sun G says, Dermot got what he wanted. Clean sheet and a huge win. Come on, you Spurs. Did the Dermatron ask for a clean sheet in the pre-match buildup? Yeah, I think he did. You know, he's sort of similar to me. You know, wanted a clean sheet, wanted a good performance, a commanding performance. And look, we, you know, he got it. He got it. But Dax on G, I also said it, my man, and I also <laughs> said it in the members' video. I think 4-0. I tempered my score prediction today. I changed it slightly earlier on to 3-0. But I did say in the members' video, 4-0 and our best performance of the season. And we absolutely got that. And I think credit to the guys. There was a lot of pressure on them coming into this game. You know, yeah. and they turned up today. They showed up. Ange Postacoglu had to get the team selection and substitutions right today in the big moment, and he got it right. And the team also turned up in the big moment today. Just before that, just quickly, we missed Anthony Temporal. He said, look what this has done to our goal difference. And you're absolutely spot on. We've gone from being two goals behind Aston Villa to now two goals ahead of them. And if we keep being close in and around points like this, it could come down to goal difference. It could make a difference, uh, Anthony. So you're absolutely spot on there. And I'm delighted that we put them to the sword. I think I, I could see sort of a narrative coming and if we finish that 2-0 with people going, yeah, we were good, but we were not killers, you know? Well, I mean, we, we ended up being killers today. It could have been five or six at times, Anthony. Uh, long may it continue. Absolutely right. And uh, a clean sheet, you know, especially can make that goal difference even easier, mm -hmm. right? You don't have to score even more. Completely right. Big up to you, uh, uh, my friend. And also uh, Daniel Larson and uh, Potato Stew saying Jack gets a, a blue card for the, the hairline comments. <laughs> probably true. Probably true. Big up, Dark Sun G. <laughs> Big up, Anthony Temporell. And then Shawnee Maddox. Appreciate you, Shawnee Maddox, my man. He says, was always confident with this. Now let's build on this momentum. Timo is showing some confidence. Uh, could turn back into his old Leipzig form. We never stop. Big up, Shawnee Maddox. We never stop, indeed. Um, he was confident going into this game. Sean was as well, just like yourself, Dave. And uh, he's bringing up that Timo is, I don't know, like giving something for people to think about, right? Like he's slowly, I don't know if it's slow, is maybe slow is slightly harsh, but he, he's not 
burst into the scene straight away. He's not been terrible. He's kind of been middle ground, I feel like, this whole time. And then he's come on, mm. made the impact, and got the goal that was needed. And it's it's interesting, right, with Timo. I think he's giving people things to think about because he's not been the worst, and um, he's not also burst onto the scene, you know, and proved everybody wrong, you know, straight away either. Uh, he's he's Look. an interesting player, Timo Werner. And in these sort of games, too, I even said to you, right, like, God, let's bring Timo on because, you know, this game, he would just shred yeah. them apart with that pace and, uh, and his finishing. And he did that yeah. today. No, look, I was one of his biggest skeptics coming in here. And I'll be brutally honest, Jack. He's had a much better impact than what I thought he would. I was expecting absolutely zero from him. You know, he's had a much better sort of impact. And you can see the confidence Susan an offering from last week. Look, first half, you've seen the worst of them and you've seen the best of them last week in that game against Crystal Palace. Second half, he was absolutely outstanding. Yeah, and you know what? After scoring the goal and being so good in that second half last week, being benched today, it could have had a massive impact on him. That could have affected him severely with, and, you know, with a player out of confidence and that. But he came off the bench today and look how he took his goal. He didn't even take a touch to set it up. First time. That's a guy where there's confidence oozing through you. He had a moment last week where he, you know, he had too much time to think about. It went around the keeper. But, you know, he, no one backed him to score. But first time today... But, you know, took it well in the back of the net. And it does show that the confidence is maybe, you know, starting to creep back into him. Can we get the player that first burst onto the scene at Leipzig? Look, I'm not, I'm not quite so sure. I, I'm not quite so sure on that. Uh, but look, I, I put a question out there last week, and I, I want people to put it in the chat. How many goal involvements would be okay from Werner between, you know, from the January yeah. to the end of the season that you would say, okay, take up that 16 million? Um, yeah, I'd say so, to answer you know, it, I'd to answer it, and you know, think about this, Sean. How what, what was sort of Kulusevsky's uh, goal contribution tally when he came in? Right, that was probably the best introduction I'd ever seen so a player. Good. Yeah, he had like fifteen or something like that. You know, since he came to the Premier League in that half, you know, that half season yeah. from February onwards. If Werner can even get to like three quarters of that, you know, like if he finishes around ten or eleven in half a season. That is pretty impressive, I say. Definitely not useless by any means if you show up with 10 or 11 in half a season. And then also, Dave, just quickly, something to think about with Werner. Could he end up with a 16 million, you know, kind of player? He could sort of fill like an Emerson type role where he's more of a squad player used in situations like this and just as an extra sort of forward and option. He's not going to be a starter by any means. But if he wants to be a player that can be up for contention every now and again, yeah, you know, there's a, probably a spot for you, kind of like what Emerson has. Yeah, potentially, potentially. Look, I'll be brutally honest. I would still rather us go into the market with a lot yeah. more cost or bring in an Eze, bring in a net or someone like that. Definitely Don't get still. me wrong. Them, like, them, them names, if I walk up here and them, I get a stiffy. You know, I'm pitching pens. <laughs> Werner, I, I, I don't get excited by the name, but look, he's proved me wrong. You know, he's doing a lot better than what I expected. What I, my only problem with Timo is now, what. Now that he's confidence, you know, and he's banging in goals, is he a confidence player? You know, once that confidence goes, you yeah. know, is he still going to be putting in the performance and the shit and, and stuff like that? Look, that's probably just me being harsh. Look, chances are, I would say, I would say he's going to be here going into next season. I think Tottenham will take up that option personally. Yeah. Big up, Shawnee Maddox. Really appreciate it. Oh, by the way, today. do we never stop? Two late goals are later on in the game. Some people slag us when we put out that we never stop. Now people know where it comes from. Sean never stops. Big up, my man. Paul Wiley, guys, it was a class game. Definitely was Paul Wiley. Daryl Bradford yeah. says, love it when we blitz teams. Definitely was, you know, a, a blitz of a performance. And, uh, you know, just started, you know, embarrassing them towards the end there, Daryl. Mm -hmm. Jerome says, big up, Jerome. Uh, significant win there, boys. We opened that Villa Fortress like a can of baked beans. I think we opened it up like... <laughs> I don't know. I think I've never seen something opened up so easily in that uh, in that second half. Like opening a door, really. It was that simple for us, uh, Jerome. And just the goals just started flooding in. And we just pretty much put a door stopper out, let more goals go in. You know, just kept the door open for us, uh, this Villa side. Almost as open as Unai Emery's mouth, you know, with all the flies coming in, with the way he mouth breathes, you know, throughout the game. But uh, Jerome, huge performance, very significant win. Dave, were you a little surprised that Villa just kind of just got outclassed really in that regard no i said this performance was coming i was confident all week <laughs> i knew this performance was coming uh, look i think aston villa have been a good team 
But I also think there's a large part of them being overinflated, you know, over... You know, it was like West Ham a couple of years ago when they were in top four for a large part of the season. Oh, they're going to do it. Look at the improvements. I thought everyone, they're going to drop, you know, and they ended up did. Look, Aston Villa are a good side, but uh, we just cut through them like a knife through butter. It was so yeah. easy. You know, even in the first half, although a lot didn't come off, there was space there to play balls into. We said at half time, there's three points there for us. They're so open. It's up to us whether we take them or leave them here. And we went and took them. Look, I thought we'd have to work a bit harder against Aston Villa to get the three points there. I did think we'd have to work a bit harder. But it was physical in the open exchanges, and we earned the right to play. We earned that right today. It's a good, a good win, good performance. And I, I don't want the narrative to be that Aston Villa were crap. They handed this to us. They didn't. We had to earn the right to play today, and we did, and we got the three points. It was like taking sweets off a baby today, to be brutally honest. <laughs> Big up, uh, uh, Jerome. A huge win today. I bet you're absolutely buzzing today with it. You should I be. I buzzing. Uh, Dark Sun G says, if we play like this, we beat the Blues 100%, and Dragason did great for his first 45 minutes plus. Verner was clinical today. First shot was a goal. Um, we got our best 11 back. Best 11 back, impact subs as well, Dark Sun G to think about. You know, Verner coming on just adds yeah. to the adds to the goals. And I even said, we just need guys who can come on who are hungry and have energy. And we did that, right? We did that with Dragason, came on. We didn't have to worry about leaking goals like we would with Sanchez or Dyer, where all of a sudden the levels just drop dramatically the moment that they come onto the pitch. Everyone else gets made more nervous when they come on. Wasn't the case with Dragason. Looked very assured of himself. And then in the case of other players like Werner, uh, Hoiberg came on and actually made a very good impact straight away. Even Hoiberg, Dark G, right? Still had some chances to pick himself up and assist and even a goal, I think. So really good impact players today. And I think even that first 11, you know, minus Richarlison. Richarlison at the moment, you know, with the way Johnson played and others have played, Richarlison, I think, will get back into this team. But, you know, he's not... He'd probably be pretty impressed by how they've stepped up, you know, in his absence. And uh, he would have to work hard, you know, once again to get back into this team and uh, earn his spot. But then think about that too, Dark Sun G. When Spurs need something else off the bench or Spurs need a different option, then we have Richie too to, to look at and uh, to bring into yeah. a game. This Spurs team going to get stronger and stronger. And uh, it was nice to see Werner being clinical as well. I'm just seeing that too in your in your chat too. Yeah. No, look, it, it, great, great to see him be clinical today. Just big up Hotspur Hippie as well, who sent these viewers over here. Big yourself up, Paul. Really appreciate that. We got the clean sheet, by the way. You said clean sheets don't matter earlier on. You said you don't care about them, but we got it. He he, he said five one to spite me, Jack, because he didn't want us to get the clean sheet. But we did. But um. Look, I do want to. I just do. I do want to take up Dark Sun G about Dragerson. Look, I thought Dragerson was superb when he came on. He looked good on the ball, and don't forget, you're you're playing a right footer on the left hand side of the fence. He looked comfortable. You know how many times have we seen that last season? You know, at times when we had a right footer playing on the left side, it didn't work. You know, they did. They were erratic all over the place, stuff like that. Dragerson looked comfortable. Also, there was one moment there where Villa tried to play two balls in behind us, and he was there both times to block the ball. Great positioning as well from him there. Um, look, a good appearance. Many people have wanted to see Dragerson over the last few weeks, and um, we've got to see him. It was worth the wait. He looked good. He looked good there, Dark Sun G. And like Jack alluded to earlier on, it's just about the confidence, you know. You bring Dragerson on, everyone's sort of confident in that regard, you know. Um, if it was a Dyer or a Sanchez, straight away, as soon as they come out, everyone's reaction is, oh, shit. And if that's the fans' reactions, the players in amongst them feel that as well, the same sort of reaction. So it's it's good that we're finally getting to that place with the back line, I would say, Dark Sun G. It's been many dark years. He looked good on the ball lastly, too, Dark Sun G. He did. Mm. He looked solid. A lot of the things that even people were worried about when it came to his game, right? Him being not maybe tidy in possession. He, he impressed me when he came on. He really did. And uh, he also says, all our goals today were class. Sar loves, uh, I love Sar's assist and Matters' uh, assist as well. Or uh, love Sar's assist to Matters. Yeah, I mean, that was just, I'm a big fan of, Darks and G, uh, some would say I'm kind of a bit archaic or almost kind of like a barbarian football is sometimes what I like. I just like sometimes, you know, a big, you know, launch up the pitch, get it launched, knock down, get it out wide, whip in a crazy cross into the box, you know, header into the goal. I do like sort of the goals, like what uh, Pop Matsar, you know, created for Madison. I love a good sharp cross, you know, just whipped in with fizz, you know, into the box. And then all you need really is like, you just need to hit Sorry, it. Sorry, Jack. Yeah. You're going to have to, just, we can't lose these. And I'm sorry to cut across you like that, but 
Sam uh, Simon Carwood has gifted 50 Irish Hotspur memberships. So as you can imagine, Holy it's shit. just one after another. So I need to get to them quickly. Simon, I don't know whether you're supposed to do five instead of 50. I'm not quite so sure, wow. but really appreciate support. And I just don't want to lose the names as they go through, Jack. It's going quickly. Tony, uh, John G, um, Rob Ragnarsson, Stuart Do uh, Davidson, Tenor Poole, uh, Stu Miller. Um, give me one, Jesus, it's absolutely flying. It's after flying down. Give me one second. Stu Miller, Robbie Keane, uh, DJ AK, Nick Brown, Luke, um, Mikel uh, Girigou, Michael, Ross Parsons, Jaris Rubilis, uh, Merovingian 1980, James Flower, St Stuart D, Lisa O, Tom 81, Chris Spurs, Chris uh, Loney, Psy Dancer, uh, John uh, Tucker, who has uh, Chris F, Joe Hong, Matthew uh, Breaker, Alpesh Patal. Um, who else have we got here? Give me one second. Sorry, Jacko. Um, Alpesh Patal, um, Sam DaCosta, Charlie Ingram, Lenny Rolf, Richie B, Mr. Crazy D, Fiona. Fiona. Kathel Brown, Brown. Yeah, Jack, you take Dave Janola, Absolute Legend, Christoph Cavalets. Frank Marcel Stay, Futility, 1912, L. McQuatt, Leon M96, Sessis Grammy Hammy, that's the best name I've heard in a while, We're Sly, uh, Tete Bangura, uh, Hiko, Hiko, uh, Get a Fix, Joseph O'Hanlon, Dave Hamilton, Stee, 24 7, Stona Elephant, Stone Elephant, Mike Sheridan, Jackson De Silva, wow. Simon, my man, really do appreciate it. And um, Dave, like Tay said, if you meant to put in five uh, or whatever, even maybe something less than that, uh, Dave and I at the end of the month can be happy to, to you know, repay you back or something. But Simon, my man, that is really, 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 really generous, sir. I mean, maybe you won on a really nice bet or something like that, you know, and you're just sharing the winnings or something. But Simon, really do appreciate it. I'm also really honored just because, uh, so we, I love the memberships. I like seeing people um, support the channel in that extra way just because it helps me remember your guys' name, get closer to you guys. It's nice also to just make exclusive content for some of you guys in an extra way just so that we can pay you guys back for all the support that you show us. So please, everybody, do thank Simon. Please take advantage of his generosity. I believe those are probably fan show memberships as well. So if you want to come on and have always wanted to come on and have your say, feel free to do so. Please take advantage mm -hmm. of Simon here. You absolute crazy man. Really do appreciate you, sir. Really do. I'm not, I'm really blown away, actually. Very much mm -hmm. blown away. I'm, I'm very, very thankful, but I'm not expecting this, Simon. Very, very mm -hmm. generous. And I'm also very touched that you even chose to do it with the with the memberships, not even a super chat, just with the memberships as well, you know, gifting it out to other people. It's really, really generous of you, Simon. Thank Wait, you, there, sir. he's got another 50 as well on the back of that. Simon, my man. <laughs> let us know sir did you win did you win crazy on some sort of bet or something did you win crazy on some sort of bet or something like that simon really do appreciate it if that 100 memberships there in the last couple of minutes wow everybody make sure you big up simon in that regard absolute legend fair play to him Holy 100 shit. of you is getting a membership today courtesy of simon it's absolute i don't know what's going on I'm, Simon, actually, man, I'm, I'm really I'm, blown away, I'm dude. Shocked. That's that's really crazy. You don't need. It's, it's really generous, my man. I'm, I'm, I'm Absolutely like, insane. Simon, I can tell you're buzzing. I'm buzzing after this win. This is best win of the season. Spurs are flying. Like Spurs are flying. You're flying, Simon. This is crazy. Really appreciate you, sir. Really do appreciate you. I might as well just read off these names again, and then we'll get back to a lot of you other people in the chat here. So many lovely faces in here, and do appreciate you Make all, sure everybody. You say thank you. Yes, everybody. Please thank Simon and take advantage of it. You know, there's exclusive content for you guys. Fan show this Monday. Feel free to come on. Um, also everybody, 700 people in the house really do appreciate anybody that picks us to tune in so many lovely people in the house here. I'm seeing yeah. Rod Belcher. I'm seeing DJ AK. So many lovely people in the house in here really do appreciate you. And Simon, absolutely out of this world, dude, really out of this world. Um, just, uh, just I'll read these other ones. Mick Dundee gifted a membership by the lovely Simon Dragon disintegration. Levy or right. Levi, uh, let me know which one is the right one because you probably don't want the, the, Levi, the first one. Levi. Levi, Ronnie, uh, Bummer Ash, Spurs 6-6, uh, Craigie, 
Danny Reese, Chaos King, 223, Desire Col- uh, Colaco, uh, Bottom Fragger, Lee Smithy Smith, big up Lee Smithy Smith, uh, Anthony Hathaway, Justin Glazer, Leighton Evelyn, <laughs> big up Leighton, <laughs> come on Leighton, come on have a chat with us, man. please, come on, put us to bed someday, HMQ, gifted one, Danny Elliott, uh, Philly Philly in NYC, Philly Philly, my man, come on, have a chat with Brooklyn or Crooklyn Jack, Crooklyn Jack, that's right, uh, Dan Inwood, uh, Carl Simpson, the one and only Carl Simpson, Ray Grizzly, uh, Teslam Atakoya, great name, Talking Ball, gifted a membership, big up Talking Ball, Irwin, DJ Evo, Mass That Goat, Talking Beer, great name, Louis Cook, Wilson T, Nitro DJ, Darren West, uh, Zolt Don, uh, Debjit uh, dude, uh, Duda, big up to Debjit Duda, P Dubs, gifted a membership, big up to Rhode Island's finest, absolute legend that guy is, please everybody, big up to P Dubs, uh, The Real uh, N7 Yid, um, Mike Davies, Krista T, International Observer, Barbaric Disdain, Anthony Official 123, Cornelius Random, Gons Football and Things, Chris Benoit, big up Chris Benoit, appreciate you, sir, STZ02, Mike Hunt, uh, Vince, <laughs> Rain. <laughs> of course, when you're listing, you know, 40 names, that's when you get caught for it. That's the one time you get caught for it. That's the one time. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one time that's the one time you get me slipping on that one i never fall for those i never fall for those that's the one time vince big up to vince rain man tony rodriguez simon kerwood my man really appreciate you sir really do appreciate you you're crazy really generous as well and um i'm very touched and honored actually that you even think about yeah being this generous to this channel i love i love working with dave dave and i love doing these watch alongs it's a real fun experience believe me though we go through some pretty shit ones those as well where it's like you just feel dejected you feel like you don't even want to show up for the next game at all but we really do appreciate it sam and we really do and i'm glad that you enjoy these watch alongs you know as well and thank you for supporting this channel we have a lovely community here and um the members i love all of our members and I'm glad that you even get to add to the to the membership because I like connecting with people sort of on the fan shows and just in extra ways and really do really helping a lot, Simon. It's very generous. Yeah. Right? Look, generous. all I can say is is a massive thank you, Simon. Really appreciate it. But everyone else, make sure you say a massive thank you to Simon. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's the cherry on top of the day, you know. He's gifted out a hundred of you have got memberships there after that win. Absolutely insane. Simon, top guy. Top, top guy. Fair Class, play I don't even know what to say. If you can, uh, drop me an email. Yeah, please. That would be absolutely uh, unbelievable if you could. Um, email address is in the description below the video. Um, massive thank you. I don't really know what else to say. I'll just say a thank you a thousand times, Simon. That's all I can say is thank you a thousand times. And please come on, have your say with us. Hopefully you have a membership for your own that you can you know, say for yourself yeah. and uh, have a chat with yeah. us, my man. But really do appreciate you. And uh Everybody, please, a thousand times say thank you to that guy. Because if you want to, like I said last time, if you really have ever wanted to come on a fan show and never, you know, like you don't have the extra uh, time or, you know, sometimes, you know, expenses can be tough every month, you know, and uh, you have to make ends meet. Feel free to take advantage of it. Feel free to take advantage of it and uh, take advantage of his generosity. Really appreciate you, no, Simon. Big up, big up. And but, everybody, as yeah. well, just quickly welcome Corey. Um, not welcome, Corey. Wish Corey a happy birthday in the chat. Happy birthday, Corey. Hopefully you have a great day, my man. But look, Jack, let's get back to our... T- was it yeah, so many Jim? talking points still. Yeah, so many talking points still that everybody has sent in. Please, everybody, really do appreciate you guys sending in your support, sending in your talking points. Adrian Chia... Um, uh, says big up adrian chia dude third kid society strong today he says greetings from basuma third kid society come on you spurs didn't want a super chat earlier to avoid the jinx adrian you're sort of like uh was it patty hartnett you know one of the men one of the many patties but uh yeah it must have been patty hartnett i believe right had that really bad no, patty higgins Patty Higgins, sorry, sorry, Patty Higgins. You had that really bad case of the of the superstitions, and uh, Adrian, believe me, my man. I at one stage in my life was really big on superstitions when it came to sports. I just had to get out of that mindset because it gets exhausting and it gets like just so taxing on your mind, you know, about what whether you did it the right way, you know, if you lost because you didn't hold the TV remote, you know, in the right, you know, sort of manner, all that sort of stuff. You know, I try to avoid it. 
but I appreciate you for following through with it. And um, I just send in also a comment, my man, unless I missed it during the chat. You know, I'd like to still know that you're still watching. Appreciate you, Adrian, because you've been with us forever. You go through so many roller coasters with us in these games, Adrian. And Basuma, I told you, I had my faith in Richarlison. You better keep that faith in Basuma, like I told you. And this guy, he's starting to look like his best self again. And he's been, like I said, it came out of nowhere. Or it didn't come out of nowhere. I think he's slowly, you know, looking more confident, looking more matured in his performances of recent. And uh, Basuma, once he's back to his best, Spurs are back to his best back to their best it usually kind of goes hand in hand uh with those two players or with him and the, and the team so basuma third kit society very strong uh, as always right dave no look um basuma has been absolutely incredible today i mean look i've had a, i've had a massive frustration with him for a period of this season because i don't think he's been anywhere near the games he was at the first 10 games of the season where he was absolutely phenomenal but I'll give it to him. Last game, he really stepped it up. Second half, I was seeing glimpses of old Basuma. If the pass wasn't on, he dribbled the ball and, you know, create that passing option. And today, was absolutely fantastic. I was a bit concerned about you know, them getting pressure on Basuma, trying to pick him up high over the field and him getting turned over. It's happened a few times this season. But any time the ball went into him today, he had an option off the ball. Straight away, he knew exactly where it was going. And he is getting back to somewhere near what he's best. He was absolutely superb today. I know some people might go, Dave, Jack, what you want about him. Look, go back and look at the game. He was absolutely phenomenal on the ball. And what I loved about in the first half, Every time he got the ball, Jack turned, looked to play forward at every opportunity. And it sort of got us going on the front foot. And I do think the good performances or our best performances are linked to that number six playing well. I think it goes it's side inside. And today, uh, Adrian, you can wear that kit with pride, my man. He was absolutely fantastic. I'm really happy with Basuma today. He's really getting back to the player. Because my frustration, Jack, was... He, you know, the, the player that he is, there's so much more in there from him. He can affect games a lot more, and he's done that today. It's the hardest to explain when you know they're a terrific player and they're just not playing well. And it's yeah. the hardest to explain. And you just kind of usually just say, I guess, just give him time. Like, hope that he just gets back to his best. And that's what he's doing here, Adrian Chia. That's exactly what he's doing here. Keep the faith, my man. Go on yeah. it if you feel like it. Assume a third kit run would not be a bad idea tomorrow morning. You know, a nice little third kit run, you know, around the park, something like that early morning. You know, get the Pasuma third kit society up and going yeah. again. DJ Samuel, are they West Ham in disguise? Are they West Ham? Are they West Ham? Are they West Ham in disguise? I think talking about like... um pretty much them sitting back, you know, so deep, Dave, at certain stages. And them just, they didn't even want to play this Aston Villa team. <sighs> No, they didn't. I was surprised. To be honest with you, if I was Emery, I would have come to look up, lock up shop today, take a point and concentrate on the European tie on Thursday. It did seem like they already had one eye on that. I think taking off Bailey when they did and bringing on that young guy, name I've never ever seen before, you know, was probably in hindsight of resting him for Thursday. Look, the minute they got that sending off, the minute they went 2-0 down, the game was over. I was very disappointed with what Aston Villa had to offer us today. I was... Slightly worried about the likes of Leon Bailey, Diaby, Watkins, their pacing behind and all, but they didn't they didn't offer anything today. Yeah. We, look, and that's not like Aston Villa have been scoring goals this season, make no mistake about it. So it probably alludes to how good we were today. No. We were we dominated that much in possession. We were that good in possession. I'd argue we didn't give them an opportunity to hit us on the counter or or create a lot of chances to hit us with great effect, Jack. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd agree with that, actually. They were just outplayed in a lot of games. And like someone I think like Al Ben had brought up earlier, Al Ben said they were nullified. I think that's the exact mm -hmm. word to use for it. Uh, big up to the Truth Sets You Free. Michael W. joining us. Appreciate big anybody that's uh, that's been tuning in. Leslie Crawford joining us. Really appreciate anybody that's still tuning in. Really do. And um, let's keep it moving here. So many great opinions here. So many great thoughts. And um, I believe the next one is Dark Sun G says, this is... Uh, is uh, he says, this is Villa's huge defeat in a while uh, at home as well, laughed my ass. The last time was probably when we won 4-0 two seasons ago. We got our revenge and Watkins didn't score. Wow, very good point, Darson G. The fact that this was the revenge. And I know you brought that up in the beginning of the stream, but now I'm kind of forgetting that because I'm still basking in the fact that it was a 4-0. But to consider mm -hmm. Villa, like they're not a rivalry team of any sort, but in recent fixtures, it's been 
feisty. It's been sparks. Yeah. It's been very physical. It doesn't look like these two teams really like each other too much. These two sets of players, even McGinn's red card, I don't think was by coincidence. I think that's him, you know, really lashing out and being very frustrated. And also the fact that they did beat us last season. They ended up, you know, beating us this season. I think there is maybe a bit of a feud, you know, to a degree between the two sort of sets of 11. It's not really the clubs, but maybe the two teams of, uh, of players there. And uh, we got our revenge indeed. And Watkins was just bullied. He just, I think he was just shown the weight room by Mickey Van de Ven and uh, Romero as well. And Dragashin at one stage, you know, he just bumped into Watkins. And Watkins, you could tell, was still limping like three minutes afterwards, you know, when uh, Dragashin yeah. had bumped into him. So I think Watkins was just kind of actually made to look like <laughs> a, kind of made to look pretty anonymous, really. He kind of just bullied out the park. I have to say, Van der Ven done a superb job on Watkins today before he came off injured. You know, any time Watkins went in behind, he was there just sniffing out. Any time the ball went into Watkins, he was there right up his hole. And then it came along to Watkins, you know, he's practically jumped on his shoulders to go and win. It was absolutely brilliant from Van der Ven locking up Watkins. What I would say, Jack, is, is um, you know, about the physicality. In years gone by, physical, Philly would get a physical with us because they knew we didn't have the answers and we'd be moaning and crying to the ref to protect us. We knew we weren't getting that today. And we got just as physical back with them. I'd argue, I think the referee actually tried to help them in the first half. There was a lot of tackles we made in their half, especially Basuma's one in the first half, which was cleaner than my bed sheets. And he gave a free <laughs> kick for it, um, which is absolutely shocking. But, um, you know, we... we <sighs> We got physical with them today. We matched their physicality and we, we had to earn the right to play today and we done that. The first open exchanges were physical. There was challenges flying in. But, you know, we got on with it. Our football prevailed in the end. Always delighted to see that. A lot of teams have struggled to deal with our intensity when we're at the, when we're at the races. And uh, that Villa Park emptied out, didn't it, Dark Sun G? It was hard to uh, find a Villa fan left in it. It was. <laughs> I've never other... seen so much blue in my life. <laughs> it was really emptying out. It's like a concert, just like you know, <laughs> emptying out Dark Sun G. Big up, man. Really appreciate you. It was a, definitely a fire drill. Something must have happened. And uh, <laughs> he also says, "All um, we're also uh, just making sure I'm not missing anything." Um, all our goals were class. Love to see Sars assist. Um, and I think we got to that one earlier, Dark Sun G. I might have skipped one and then got to that one earlier. Like I said, I love an old school goal. I love an old school just whipped, you know, cross into the box. And uh, it, it was a terrific goal. Actually, probably my favorite of them. You know, that, that Sars assist. Probably my favorite. And uh, Dark Sun G. Sorry, Martin Knightsbridge says, goals breed confidence. And um, four different goal scorers today come on yeah. you Spurs. That's a good sign to see four different goal scorers. We didn't even have to rely on Sonny today, which we usually do. We've been kind of mm. all season relying on Sonny or Richarlison or both. Mm. And today, other players stepped up. No, 100%. You know, and I think I think that's what we've sort of been waiting for. Look, I don't want to I don't want to bring him up because he wasn't there today. But Richarlison stepped up while Son was away, at, um, you know, representing Korea in the Asian Cup. But no one else did. But today, you know, players stepped up. You know, Johnson stepped up massively today. Werner came off the bench, stepped up. Kulu stepped up in the second half. Sar stepped up. It was nice to see other people take responsibility rather than it have to be some the whole time. And this is what I've been moaning about this season. This is where I want to get to. You know, we have, with the style of football we play and stuff like that, we have uh, the ability to be potent, be a lot more potent. We shouldn't be sitting there hanging on to games that, you know, come the end of the game some weeks. We, that shouldn't happen with the way we play. And um, today we were rootless. You know, today we took our chances. Today we created chances, especially in that second half. You know, even when Villa went down to 10 men, you know, we we absolutely dominated them. We just ran them ragged with our passing and then got another two quick goals near the end. Um, much better, much better. Uh, for uh, Martin, and um, you're absolutely spot on, you know, with everyone scoring goals, now it'll breed confidence, you look at Arsenal, look at the run they went on, with the amount of goals they were clocking up at times, you know, and, uh, you know, it breeds them confidence, and it's going to do the exact same for us, I would say, Martin, v very well said. And the goals were flying in today, Martin Knightsbridge. After today, I wish I could go on a nice, you know, sunny walk with you, man. You know, just mm -hmm. breathe in, you know, this 4-0 air. You know, that's what it, it just feels great to breathe, you know, with, with a 4-0 win. Uh, Dark Sun G says, and subs were master class. They play uh, long lay. <laughs> yeah, the long lay derby. Indeed, Dark Sun G. They got really destroyed, you know, in that second half. You could just see once they went down to 10 men. Uh, kind of the legs of that back line start to get exposed, right? They don't really have, I think, pacey enough players to really uh, retain, 
you know, that high line, you know, as consistently as probably we do. Mm-hmm. I think we probably have better players suited for a high line, actually, Dark Sun G, than that, than that Villa team do. And I think we exposed it today, especially in that second half once, mm-hmm. the, once, Matt, once McGinn came off. But, yeah, Longley, Dave and I defended him in the past, but, I, yeah, he probably was a liability for them. Weirdly enough, though, mm-hmm. they kind of been liking him. He's uh, played ahead of Diego Carlos right now, if I'm not mistaken. He's uh, stepped mm-hmm. up for them, Dark Sun G, but... Yeah, we did. We did teach Longley a lesson today. Definitely got taught a humble lesson. Uh, and look, I, I do think Ange Postecoglou deserves uh, credit for his team selection. You know, he didn't have to bring Johnson in for Werner, but he made the right call. Didn't have to bring Sarri in for Bentecourt, but he made the right call. You know, um, he, he deserves credit today. Um, um, Postecoglou on the team selection, Jack. We said in the, the pre-match show for the members, you know, that his team selection was going to be the biggest of the season. He has to get it right. Yeah. And he did. Fair, fair play to Angie. Does, does does deserve credit in that regard. Because I think he'll go under the radar today. Ray Chrisley says, I used to think Brennan Johnson was soft. Not anymore. He was my man of the match. Mm. Ray, Dave and I are in a similar boat where we had more criticism for him throughout the season than we really did have a lot of praise. I've been, I think, one of the guys that just hasn't been as, you know, protective of him as maybe other people have been. I've been happy to point out some of the things I've been frustrated with uh, with with him. I think the biggest one for me actually was just more the bare minimum, which was actually pressing and working hard off of the ball and yes. working for your teammates, right? E- even if you're not playing well, you can do the bare minimum and make a lot of fans happy, right? You might not be the most talented or playing the best, but at least you're not a liability when it comes to defensive work rate and just helping out your teammates. And I think a lot of people even liked Lamella and players like that, right, for that reason, right? Because yeah. they at least did that side of the game. And Johnson, for me, at one stage, wasn't doing that, which is what made me get really frustrated with him. Today, from the get go I said to Dave I was like he's working a lot harder off the ball than I've ever seen him and even in possession too right of course was really sharp today really good going forward creative could have actually been selfish and maybe could have got probably two or three goals if he wanted to um but I was more surprised just by the work rate from the get-go. Like, yes, I know he can be sharp on the ball. He has that quality where he he can be good going forward. But it was more just the complete performance of his work rate. The fact that he also shoved over McGinn, you know, when he did that red card, yeah. stood up for Udoji. I really got a lot of respect for him in that moment because it wasn't even like a shithousery sort of thing. Like, he really was stepping up for, uh, for Udoji and, you know, protecting his teammate. Really class class performance from that uh, from Brendan Johnson nothing, no, but, look, praise. Uh, nothing I, but praise for today look slowly he's starting to make me taste that humble pie so he is Brendan Johnson and I have no problem you know devouring it I'm a big boy and I'm hungry um look what I would say I, I completely agree with Jack what I was really impressed with was the work rate you know that's one thing I think I've, I've been missing from his game this season one thing I haven't been happy with whatsoever um but that was there today and once you work hard usually you can play yourself into form play yourself into the game and he done that one thing I would say is I would like him to be a bit more selfish at times. I thought first half when Sun was around him, when Madison was around him, because of their seniority, I think he was very quick just to give the ball to them when the option was for him to cut inside and have a shot. You know, he was sort of just laying them on, even though I think sometimes some of them were probably making a decoy run to take players with them rather than actually wanting the ball. But look, Brennan Johnson, absolute great game today. I'll be brutally honest, he done miles better than what I thought he would today. Absolute miles better. Um, he, he, <coughs> he done brilliant today. And I would actually maybe argue probably the catalyst for the performance. You know, yeah. he was on it from minute one like that. Sun poor first half, Kulu poor first half. But the kid never stopped. The one thing I loved was, was down in the corner in the first half. He chased the ball around a couple of times, you know, and then I've seen players give away free kicks in their position and just give them an out ball. He didn't do that. Um, he deserved that performance today. He worked incredibly hard and fair play to him. And uh, Johnson, more of that and I'll, 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 I'll zip it. Yeah, I mean, he just, he's my man of the match with Basuma. Easily, very crisply, easily standout performers. Very much from <laughs> yeah. never had, a, never even had one bad moment. I can really say, I can't even say you ever had a mistake. It felt like the only time you did have a mistake yeah. was when Dave and I were saying, be selfish, you know, <laughs> like, take, yeah. you know, reward yourself, <laughs> reward yourself. Yeah. Stop being so unselfish. Stevie D says, Timo's been light years better than Richie in less time. I'd say Richie's been great this season, so I don't know what the shade is needed, Steve. But what I would say is, just to, you know, just on your Super Chat alone, 
Richie, of course, took a very long time to get to where he is, you know, in his current form. And Timo Werner stepped in. And like I said, like, you couldn't say he's, even if you're still iffy on Timo, you couldn't say he's been useless. Like, he has been useful in plenty of these games and has uh, contributed, right, with goals or assists in clutch moments. So I'd say Timo, yeah, he's kicked off much better than Richarlison ever did. But... As I am with Hoy and with Richarlison, very defensive of my boys and very protective of my boys as DVD. Uh, look, he's right. Timo Werner has had he's got off to a quicker impact than what Richarlison had. However, I don't understand why the Spurs fan base are so quick to go after Richie. You know, he's got eleven goals and three assists this season. He's the only player outside Sun in double digits, but yet people want to make him the be all and end all of our problems, which I don't understand. But I agree with you. Werner has had a quicker impact than Richardson. Fair Big, point. Big up, Steve. D. Great mortal, uh, mortal nemesis. Uh, he's, gonna like, he's probably sitting at home smiling with that one. He's like, I got him. <laughs> he definitely has, actually, that one. It made my eyebrows raise. Darkest yeah, yeah, yeah. NG says they uh, win. Uh, the win will make a very entertaining Twitter reacts. Pick up Dark NG. Certainly will. I'm going to be doing it with uh, Lazy8 if he can. Lazy8 will get to your membership yeah. in just a second. But if you are available... At some stage this evening, I do need a partner in crime to run that Twitter reacts. It will be out nice and early for you tomorrow, Dark Sun G. Uh, and it will be a good one. Trust me. It will be a good one for you tomorrow morning. And also, and, I might release it early for some of the members as well. Big up, Dark Sun G. And I also want to warn people, my loan report, because we've had a game today, which is Sunday. It's usually the day I sit here, put all the loan report together, find all the information. All. That's not going to be out till Tuesday now, because as soon as we finish here, I have to go off and see my mumsy. It's Mother's Day. <laughs> Big up, Dark Sun G. And uh, I love making Twitter reacts. I'm looking forward to it this time. Yeah. Stevie D says, still got a red star. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, I, nothing we can do about it, Stevie D. You're just going to have to either... See, here's the thing. Like, even if you were to, like, cancel the membership, I think it just brings you back to where you were. <laughs> like, so it's not like you go back to the beginning, you know, with a new color. I think you just have to ride this one out until it ends. And what's also frustrating is I think the colors, they get longer and longer. So the longer you're a member, you know, the less they change the color to really show, you know, how long you've been one. So, Steve, I appreciate you for being a member as long as you have. But yeah, it's uh, he might be stuck with that red one for a while now, my man. He might be stuck with it. It's uh, it's it's what YouTube has decided to go with. I I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. I'm with you, my man. And uh, THFC till I die, Dermatron, elite <laughs> member, 26 months. Appreciate you, Tron. And he says, big up, guys. I told you Johnson will come good. I stood by him as I said. I stand by yep. my boy. Top four is ours for the taking. Johnson's biggest fan has entered the chat, Dave. No, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. No, in fairness, he has, to, he has stood by him. And, and, and fair play to you, Dharma. Even true. you know, the tough times with him, he stood by him. And, uh, you know, he's coming out the other side of it now. I uh, love that, Dharma. You're absolutely spot on there. He says, top four is ours for the taking. I would like to think, Dharma, you know, we back it up next week against Fulham when the other teams are playing in the FA Cup and we go against Luton mm-hmm. next week. Uh, I think we could finish inside the top four. Look, what I would say is, Today has given us a massive chance. If we lost that game, we'd all be sitting here moaning, crying, talking yeah. about it being over. The fact that we've won it, I think it puts us in pole position now. Now it's up to us to go and seize the moment and make it a better season than what anyone imagined. Breathing so much life into us with that win, yeah. uh, Dermatron. Big up, my man. Really appreciate you. And uh, thanks for filling in for the pre-match build-up this morning as yeah. well, sir. Really do appreciate your support for this channel. I have to say... I do love Johnson's uh, shithousery, by the way. You yeah. know, the celebrations over the last few weeks, getting involved there, sticking up for a doji and stuff like that. He's starting to become a little bit of a shithouse. I like that. I think he's easily a well-liked member in the dressing room. I think he's never going to be that sort of guy that, you know, people don't really care for, or, you know, don't really. Mm. He's clearly somebody that people do warm up with and, you know, have a good time with. So there's yeah. that also to consider. Uh, big up, uh, Dermatron, though. Really appreciate you, sir. Thanks for tuning in as well, my man. Al Ben says, we need three more signings like Dragason when we feel as comfortable uh, when having to call on bench players. Yeah. So that's a great comment, Al Ben. Great comment. Because what he's pointing out, Dave, is what we were talking about the you know the when Davies or Sanchez or Dyer would come on it's just that nervousness would creep into the team creep into you and me we would start to think that oh, I'm not sure if this results really you know guaranteed well, we now we yeah what was gonna happen. No, even if we anything. even if we did get the win we just from the moment they would come on we would just not be assured of ourselves yeah. that you know we were going to see out this game whereas with Dragason, it was more just like a nervous excitement right we're just kind of like shit you know we're losing mickey van event and that's not good 
but this Dragason guy, here's his chance. You know, this is what he's brought in for. And he stood up and he did exactly what we brought him in for. And Al Ben saying we just need three more signings of that type of caliber. Mm. Look, you look at the bench today, much more improved from where it was last season. Last season, we were playing with about 10 defenders on the bench or academy products, which Conte was never going to use in the first place. You know, you look at today, you bring Ben to core off, done all right. You bring Werner on, scores a goal, you know, bring Dragos in and he done well at the centre-back. They're having an impact. And that's one thing that used to infuriate me about our bench. It very rarely had impact on games. In fact, it used to make things worse. Whereas now, you know, we're starting to have impact on the games. And I think it's a great comment. You know, that's why I continue to say, you know, even if things do go well this season, let's not fall into the trap this summer and be like, oh, I think Ben Davis is an OK squad player for next year. Because the exact same thing's going to happen when some of these guys have to come in next year. You're going to see a drop off and you're all going to start questioning Ange Postacoglu and his management and stuff like that. We can't keep getting into that thing every single season. Get them gone. Fill it out this summer. That's the main priority. You're going to be challenging on all four fronts, Al Ben. We can't go in with just one eleven and expect them to play every single game and then moan when they don't or moan when they can't. It's yeah. a squad game now. Four competitions. Fill out the squad. You're absolutely spot on, sir. Well said. Well said. Big up, Al. And that's honestly something I'll try to remember You know, for a long time now. I'll try to reference uh, that comment that you made there. I won't take it as my own because it's a really great point that you make. Uh, Lazy801. Big up, Lazy A. Big up, Nick. Hopefully you're keeping this Sunday, keeping well this Sunday. Crazy storm last night, too, sir. Hopefully you're, hopefully the house and everything is doing all right because, you know, everything was blown around. And he says, this proves we have the ability to take teams apart on their own patch. Cottage cheesers, wet spam should be fearful. Look, it... It does send, I think today sends out a statement to everyone else in the Premier League, you know, no longer is Tottenham going to be an easy touch, soft touch, no longer are you going to hang in and wait to go at us the last 10 minutes. I think it sends out a statement today, you know, and I do think, hopefully long may it continue, hopefully we can back it up over the next few weeks, Nick, and, you know, uh, you know, score more goals, win games a lot more convincingly, because that's where fans maybe frustration has been this season, that we haven't won games as, as, fin- as convincingly as we could, maybe as per the amount of possession that we've dominated games but today, you know, we dominated possession, we score four goals. There's absolutely nothing to cry about. And, you know, it will make teams a bit weary when we head to their place now. One of our biggest problems, Jack, and uh, me and you were crying about it last year, well, mainly me, actually, um, <laughs> was the away form. Every time we went away from home, we would buckle. It was absolutely shocking, you know. We, everything would yeah. get on top of us. Today, that didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Big up, Nick. And um, I... Feels nice to just also tear a team apart, right? Doesn't it? Just feels good to win 4 0. Like, we haven't done it in a while, Nick. We haven't. It feels very, very good to do that. Brings a big smile to my face to win in that sort of manner. And uh, Spurs have needed it. This fan base has needed it. I think Ange has needed it. You know, he's kind of been waiting for a performance like that for a while now, and he really did deserve it, Nick. Big up to Anthony Temprell. Uh, also, Nick, though, 32 months. Absolute legend, sir. 32 months. The fact that over 30 months of service and and, uh, and support. Big up, Big my up. man. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. Anthony Temprell has become a Flat Cap member. Appreciate you, Anthony. And thank you for the support today as well. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, really great comments. And uh, thanks for even just choosing us as the watch along destination for, for yourself and yeah. even also going above and beyond and supporting the channel in an extra way. Big up to you, Anthony. Yeah. Anybody that even picks us as your watch along, we really do appreciate it. Lots of places out there, but you guys come here yeah. and we really do appreciate that. It's, um, it's really, it's really, it's yeah, it doesn't go unnoticed. And, um, uh, I love doing these watch alongs with you guys. Like I said, a lot of bad days, a lot of bad days with them. You know, we have to take the good with the bad sometimes. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, that's what we all build this community for. It's it's all part of this community going through these roller coasters at games. Big up to you, Anthony. And also, Big Anthony, up. you might get that Twitter reacts nice and early. You could also get, um, you know, the, of course, the pre-match previews, all that stuff. And then soon, you know, Dave and I will get back to giving uh, even more, you know, stuff for the members and all that stuff, mm-hmm. too. So definitely you'll uh you'll feel the love for it and then stevie d says never hated on richie just saying double standards no steve i actually probably said you were hating on him just to you know defend myself a little bit you know throw some you know maybe buy myself a little bit of time or you know a bit of grace because i think you raised a very good point it was actually me probably being a little bit uh of what is it? I'm being a little jealous or being a little yeah facetious or something but uh big up to you stevie d appreciate you and um I'd say it raised my eyebrow because I love defending Richarlison. I definitely go probably a bit overboard on my protection of him. And uh, it's a great point that you make there. He took a long, long time uh, for him to uh, 
to get to the standard he is now. Timo Werner setting a standard straight away, and you'd like to think he's going to get even better from here on out. But I did say, you know, you're hating on him, probably just to buy myself a little bit of grace there for a second. <laughs> Pick up, Steve. Look, maybe, maybe there's an element to double standards to it, maybe. But look, uh, the reason why I find myself, and uh, well, actually, I would say I'm going to disagree here. Actually, I don't think it is double standards. Jack Hall last season, I was, you know, I was complaining about Richie up until a point this season. I was complaining about him, if you remember. And then I suddenly, come the Wolves game, I said, no, we've got to use him up front, put Son out yeah. left, try something different, and it worked for a period, you know. And, and he, he, you know, Richie has answered my critics. He's answered a lot of critics, but still doesn't get the leeway. I'd, I'd ask you, Steve D. Why are you quicker to defend Werner when he's only here on a loan than you are with Charleston, who we signed permanently? Surely it should be the other way around, no? <laughs> Up for war again. Big up, Stevie. And uh, everybody, really do appreciate you all. Um, huge, huge game. Huge win for Spurs. It feels so good to win in that sort of manner. And I appreciate you all for even picking us on like the massive game, Dave, right? Like I said, so many places to go, so many places you can be. And you guys come and pick us as your destination for it. Um, I just wish you all a good rest of your weekend. Have a good rest of your Sunday. Have a good rest of your week. Huge win for us. Liverpool Man City game is on too. So you probably already have that turned on. Maybe plenty of you have already left or something like that. But just want to say those of you that are still watching, still listening, really do appreciate everybody that went above and beyond with the support. Of course, Simon, I mean, God, you're absolutely crazy, man, but you really went above and beyond. What? So generous, so generous. And also, like I said, even to send it in as memberships, right, to not even just, you know, send in like some thoughts on the game or anything like that. You just contributed and helped others out and gifting them memberships, I think is also even really generous. It's, of course, really generous to Dave and I, but it is to others who now can come on, have their say or get a bit of the extra content that isn't always available to them. It's very nice of you. Also just grows this community. I think it does, you know, give people that sense that, you know, they are a part of this community and everything like that. Big up to you, Simon, and big up to no, so many up. others here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Dave. No, Sorry. big up, Simon. Very generous. You know, give out 100 memberships there to people. Fan shows are going to be 12. You know, we might have to do 24 hour fan shows now. <laughs> um, absolutely love it. Do an intermission. Up, Simon, really appreciate it. But not just Simon. I mean, the support has been incredible all day long. I mean, I kicked off at 9 a.m. this morning with the pre match build up. The support in there, the views, the likes, you know, the comments coming in from people, the support through memberships, you know, member chats, super chats and stuff like that was insane. And same here in the watch along today. It's great to see that we've got such a good community. It's great to see that we all enjoy winning so much. It'd be a problem um, <clears throat> if we didn't enjoy winning the way we do. I absolutely love it. I know some people out there would look at me and be disgusted and say, oh, it's pathetic, carry on. But hey, you've only got one life and I like to live it with a smile and celebrate when we win. So I'm absolutely buzzing with that. It is Mother's Day as well. I don't know if my mother's watching, but if you are a mother, thank you very much for being the best mother on planet Earth. And uh, I'll be over to you right away. As soon as we finish here, um, I'll be like the Tasmanian devil straight around to you <laughs> and we'll uh, have some good dinner or something like that. But look, it's been a great day. Everyone, I hope you go off and enjoy the rest of your, your day. Uh, spend time with your mothers and we'll see you back here tomorrow. See you back here tomorrow, everybody. Huge win for Spurs. Great game. Thank you, everybody, for picking us. Love you all. Come on, you Spurs. In the big end, we trust. We never stop. Thank you again to so many others who also supported. Mm -hmm. Dark Sun G, Dermatron, Ribsy85, Nick, so many of you guys, Al Ben, so many people today. Really do appreciate mm -hmm. it. We look forward to seeing you next time. Fan show tomorrow, Twitter reacts, all that good stuff. Everybody, come on, you Spurs. In the come big on, we trust. you Spurs. We never yeah. stop. See just before we stop, I'm just going to have to give it a quick kiss. It feels so good. <laughs> Come on. See you, everybody. See ya. Everybody.